Let's get to it. Yes, Welcome back to the Ball Don't Lie podcast. Yes, sir. That Ski. Is fuck, I'm sorry. Um, Ski. Let's get to it. We got some NBA news. Actually, quite a lot of news happened. It might not be the biggest, but we should discuss it either way. First thing that happened since last time we talked, Kelly Oubre signed to a team, a one-year deal with the 76ers. What do we think about that? Uh Small move, but I mean, he's, a, he's probably good the for best. them because he'll that's actually good... he'll actually play. Yeah, that's a good addition. But they we don't know what James Harden saw. I mean, it's like up in the air. It's up and it's stuck. He can uh, Kelly. Uh, he'll sub in <laughs> James. He'll sub in for James. I, I, <laughs> I saw uh, <laughs> I saw a statistic that they every team cuter. that Kelly Oubre leaves, <laughs> they got finer. They got finer. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> more, more <aura>. <laughs> <laughs> they got more aura on the on the now. More Kelly, aura. his face Ooh, got great. his face got smoother. What were you saying? You were saying Pause some report. What? Yeah, so I saw a stat that every team that Kelly Oubre leaves makes it to the NBA Finals. <laughs> Hornets? <laughs> Hornets. Yeah. Hornets. That's so That's crazy. Dude. Those Warriors when he left, the Suns, and then uh, Phoenix. Yeah, when he was on Phoenix. He was on Phoenix, Phoenix first, first yeah. then the Warriors, and then I think. Do you have a stint in? Who just made it last year? Well, last year was Nuggets and, and uh, Heat, but before that it was Celtics Warriors. Yeah, so then. And then before, before that, that it was. The Hornets have a chance. Suns. Suns, Suns. Bucks, and before that it was Bubble. No, it this was. is dating back to the Suns. Cause oh, fr- okay, so just back-to-back. Back. Yeah. Okay, okay. The Suns and Warriors. Yeah, basically. the only finals the Hornets are making is the penitentiary finals. <laughs> that was a good one. Someone Austin Rivers said about the team and how LaMelo Ball doesn't have anybody around him to guide him no, to I didn't being actually. a better player. I saw Austin Rivers. Uh, who is he clapping back at? Um, Miles Bridges. There, yeah, yeah, there you Because he said that. like He's saying that he doesn't have the right pieces around him to be a more successful player or lead him to the path of being a better player because of the roster and how they act. And that is true. Pretty young. I agree. Yeah. But the child, you know, like, they're fun to watch, but they are, like, in terms of winning a chip, they're definitely, childish. like, childish. Yeah. Yeah. The little kid mentality. That's it's childish, it's just... and it's fun to, like, it's entertaining. Like, I feel like and they're Miles being Bridges, like, clap back. Do you see what he said? On no the discipline on the team. <laughs> yeah. He was saying, oh, watch us this year. You guys talking like you get starter in a minute, or, like, you're a oh, starter yeah. and stuff like that. He said some of y'all didn't even play. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, that even that response shows how childish they kind of are. Yeah, bro, Miles Bridges, you can't talk, bro. You just got to hoop, especially what happened with you. Man. Just st- shut up and hoop. You, I, you're the one person that got to shut up and dribble. <laughs> Him and Jaw. I saw Jaw tweet today. So y'all don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, bro, get off Twitter. Yeah. Why are you still here? You, you think you're safe? <laughs> so why you his comments here? turned off, too. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, don't turn off your doing? comments then and if you're going to do that. Yeah. Like, he knows what's up. I don't know why he's still on Twitter after everything that happened. But Kelly Oubre's not there no more. He's yeah, 76 or so. Kelly Uber, That is a good piece for them. Ooh. Having him on the roster like last year would have helped them definitely be better than what they were. He's probably the prior. best player available that's not signed. So, yeah. I guess it's good for them. And if they're going to, I don't know what they're going to do, but he adds depth. Yeah, depth. I mean, yeah, we don't know what they're going to do with James Harden. Seth. He's never playing for Darren Moore again. I repeat. I repeat. <laughs> yeah, I repeat. I repeat. Yeah, he really said <laughs> that. There was a Chinese nigga, too. Like, there was, he was speaking straight English. Yeah, <laughs> In the middle of China. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, ah. They don't care what he said. That's yeah. crazy. Like, I, that's I, so I remember those TikToks of him doing like, the dances, dude. He said he's going to say nice and slow so everybody hear him. <laughs> I repeat. didn't even know what he was saying. Like, <laughs> they had no idea. That was crazy. Dude, they had no idea there's witness in history. Um, <laughs> next thing. Report: Donovan Mitchell is not expected to sign an extension with the Cavaliers this summer. Um, now I don't know if he'll. That doesn't mean he'll not sign back, depending on what happens with them. Because I think if they have some type of playoff success, he'll consider resigning with them. I know he's from New York and wants to be there, but from New York, mm-hmm. Lakers, <laughs> Lakers. No, no, no. Mark? <laughs> I mean, maybe. What team do you think he would Lakers. go to? Uh, obviously, <laughs> you're gonna say Lakers, but uh, yeah, look how good. Um, the Jazz were with Donovan and Gobert. Anthony Davis is like Jesus and Gobert combined. We <laughs> have too many guards, him. though. He can't afford him at that no, I'm just talking about like the future. The realistic future place wise. where he should end up is New York. I think that would be the perfect place for him. I think he was, he's from there. Him and Brunson? <laughs> I emoji, I emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a good pairing for both of them. Randall's okay. He's still there. And they have a lot of cash <laughs> he's space. still there. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't have yeah. to trade for him. Him, so B.I. and Zion. I like him, B.I. and Zion. I like that. On one team. Yeah, I like it's that. It's not bad, but they got yeah. CJ there. It's kind of redundant. Get him out of here. Obviously, Donovan's better, but... <laughs> yeah. Boom. New yeah, York would probably be the best. It's not, a, spot. It's not that easy. Yeah, you I got know. a contract in, yeah, like... I know. But who wants to stay in Cleveland? Nobody. What a joke. LeBron! Say, who goes to Cleveland? <laughs> yeah. 
Besides LeBron, LeBron's the only player that would wanted to stay there because he he's put from Cleveland there, you know? on the map. Yeah, yeah like he's no, only... no, no, let me chill. <laughs> Cleveland, no, no, nah, nah, he fast. did. That's my lion, yeah. especially when it comes to the Cavs Johnny organization. Johnny <laughs> the Cavs organization, they wouldn't be anything without. I think Darius Garland's going to leave too when time's up, unless he gets paid like big money. So, I think Cavs is a destination to draft a good player, then they leave. Didn't their GM just get arrested for, like, drinking and driving or something? Um, Kobe Altman? Oh, uh, yeah. Really? yeah. Yeah, I saw yeah, a video. Yeah. I think it was their GM, he did, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Man. He did. Um, yeah, so. Man, I don't, that's Kobe not a good Austin. look, buddy. When, like, is, when is his contract up? Think Kobe Altman? No. <laughs> <laughs> Donovan. That's a never. <laughs> uh, I think he has Until he dies. this year and then another one. So, oh, okay. he's eligible for an extension, like, this summer, but I don't think he's going to sign. Yeah, I mean, either. Um, Can he get a Supermax on that roster? Yeah, he can get a super max. They can go over the cap to re-sign him. Yeah, for a max though. But how no, long no. do you have to be on a team to get a super no, max? No, it's, like, it's like three years. Four years to retain your own players, you can go over the cap. It doesn't matter. Super oh, max, okay. max. It's just like you're gonna be the luxury tax. You good luck, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Got so, you. But you can. That's how the Warriors got all those players because yeah, they kept them. yeah, it's their own guys. So what about uh? But would he be eligible for a super max on that team, or do you have to be on a team for a couple years? Like you don't have to be drafted. You have to be on a team for a certain amount of years. And no, but it, I think it's like incentives to all NBA teams or something. Yeah, but he made it last year. Yeah, so maybe he has to make another one. I don't know. Because mm. I know Jaron Jackson's eligible for a super max if he wins another defensive player of the year. It's crazy. Like and they'll pay him, right? Million. They'll pay him. Three, if he, he's not going to win another DPOY, though. But oh, he needs to win another DPOY. Yeah. Or... I mean, he, he's still going to get like 200 mil, but if he wins another DPOY, it'll be like 315 million. Mm -hmm. And if he does, do you think they're going to pay him? <laughs> Shit, no. they might have to, but. It's crazy, that's right? Like, that's a lot of money. <laughs> why are they not, yeah, they 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 not going to pay a good player for, for the Jackson. future? That that team always has playoffs. It's not chance. super max that's money. Not, yeah, but yeah. Hustin, yeah, if you don't understand, if they don't use him there, who are you going to get with that money that's going to go to Memphis for that kind of money? That's the what I'm saying. Contract. So like, it's, it's Do you want him on the like, books for four Hustin, years, 300? No, no, Hustin, you got to understand it. We said this before. We said this before. We have to understand it from a team perspective. If you don't pay him that money, another team will pay him a little bit more. He's not Jalen Brown, though. Jalen Brown, I understand why you have to keep him. He's going to help you win regardless of there's not many... Players that are as good as him. He was a top 15 player last year. The Grizzlies are good at drafting, Jackson? too. So like, they are, but, I mean, you're going to put $300 million on the books for no, a Jared Jackson? No, I'm saying Jackson they're good at drafting. So it's like, yeah, Brooke Lopez for $40 million. No, I'm saying they're good at drafting, so you kind of let Jaron go and like just trust your draft guys that you can find like a rookie contract that's yeah. like maybe not half the value, but also not $300 million. You know what I think it is? How long, like, the success of the team is going to determine if they pay him or not. Yeah, that too. So if they get to a conference, it has to be conference finals. I mean, finals shit, they don't want to pay Dylan Brooks, and he made all defense. So like, I'm I not mean, sure they pay Jaren. There's a lot of other reasons why you don't want to pay him. I think Jaren's uh, different than hey, Brooks' situation. Brooks yeah. just cooked the USA. <laughs> He's so, got forty. He's got forty. I don't know, man. And Dennis He's Schroeder was season. the best player in the world. Yeah, too. <laughs> he, he was former Laker. I'll give you some. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I guess they have to make it to conference finals or finals for him to well, get through. Anyway. I mean, he's not going to win another DPOI, though. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's averaging three blocks. If AD stays healthy, it's him. Easy. Easy if he's, yeah, we've been saying that since 2020. 83. About to be in 2024. He should have won in 2020, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I think he should have won that year. He played enough games, too. That was like his most healthy year Who since the Pelicans. It was Giannis that year. Oh, I mean, you know, narrative. Yeah. MVP, oh, yeah, he got DPOI. the... Yeah, and he, he got, got bounced by the Heat that year, too. That was one of the years he got bounced by the Heat. In yeah. Second yeah. Round in four games or something. Hemi Butler. Next one. With the Dame rumors heating up a little bit. Dame Closing in on trading camp. We got two teams emerging as potential destinations for Damian Lillard, the Raptors and the Bulls, which really? are like the two most fucking random teams. <laughs> Why would they trade? They are the most mediocre teams in the league, arguably. So is he willing to play for other teams other than Miami? I don't know. There's a lot of reports. I've seen, I've seen, a lot I've seen people say like he's not going to report to training camp or he's going to request a trade if he gets traded to a team other than the Heat. I've seen some people or even himself saying that he's just going to show up and do his job. I don't know. I'm assuming if he gets traded, he'll report. You know, I don't know how that's going to go over with him personally, but there, I don't think he's going to get traded and not play for them. Like, that just makes any sense. Him as, like, his personality, I don't see that happening, but the reports seem to be like that's the case. I just don't believe it. Like, it would be a weird move and a bad move for these two teams, the Bulls and the Raptors, to trade for him because they're kind of in the, you know, even if they get Dame, I don't see them even being contenders. To really? Be so if the Bulls didn't get Dame, Dame and, uh, well, it depends I mean, on what they yeah, have to they trade a lot, right? Also depends on the If they package. keep their core, like Levine, DeRozan, Vucevic, and him, how far do you think they'd get to? I don't know because their problem is like is not scoring in guards. It's defense, it's, yeah. it's big defense, perimeter defense, and it's like now you got backcourt of Damon Levine and DeRozan at the three probably. Like that's no none of those guys play defense. So yeah, 
Vucevic is a rim protector. Too. Patrick Williams yeah. can only do so much. He's probably gonna have to be in the trade. In the trade. Yeah. 100%. yeah, and he's gonna yeah. be gone exactly. So and like all your young players probably Kobe. IO. Yeah, Kobe's gone for sure. You can have no. It just doesn't make sense. You're, the way when you say it out loud, you put all the like all the factors into it. It doesn't make sense for the Bulls to get him. Even if they do get him, it doesn't make sense for them well, to, to be get fair, him. Are they what, better? What does make sense for the Bulls? Are they? You're asking me. You ask the GM, but you're not gonna ask me, bro. Would they make that trade? Like just let's say they give up Williams, White picks, and like. I have to assume more. Are they still better than the Celtics then? I don't think no. so. They are not better they than the chance? Celtics. They are well, not better than the Celtics. to beat them? I don't think that, no, because like now with Porzingis, I mean, they, they spread the floor. They got inside interior. No one's guarding Jason Tatum. Who's the Rosen? Yeah. I saw that they wanted to make Jason Tatum more of a point guard. Mm. How do you think that's going to work out? I mean, or a facilitator or a point guard? Point guard. He could, like, point guard. he could facilitate now, but... Point guard is kind of crazy. I don't know about point guard. I mean, I think it's be not fine, crazy though. either. It's I feel just like it's too much like responsibility. Nah, I mean, it's super. Like, are you talking about like a LeBron level point guard? Like, are you, that's that's what they're that's envisioning. What the said like he's gonna play more point guard for the team. He could be facilitate. like a facilitator, like like how Giannis dishes and stuff. I don't know, but or Tatum does it good too right now. Tatum does it fine now. In my opinion. I mean, for them, I think it's just gonna be like bringing the ball up the court and like looking to pass. But I don't. Yeah. I'm not. He's not playing a point guard. Yeah. Like Ben Simmons, he's more like yeah. De'Aaron Fox, where he's a score first guy still, but he's just like he handles the ball. I feel like he should just focus mainly on scoring, and he'll the other team will be more effective. But I mean, they lack he playmakers. Play. Yeah, yeah, the ball. Exactly. yeah, and then Brogdon's the upset it. too. He's not gonna play for that team again. He'll play, but he's gonna request a trade. I think. Yeah, he's. I don't he's think he's the type out. of guy that just like I'm. I'm sitting out. But he's, he's, hurt. he's still hurt. That, that's the reason why the Clippers trade fell through because he was hurt. So he might, he might just extend his hurtness. Not I don't play. think he's that type of guy to <laughs> extend like, his hurt. You know, I'm a <laughs> he sit. just take a hammer to his yeah. leg. Like, <laughs> 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 I'm healthy, then <laughs> just like oh, say, okay. no, I'm not. <laughs> he's not like doing the Jay Crowder thing. I don't think. Or like, I saw another thing about like Ben Simmons since you mentioned him, saying that he's a, only a point guard. If you know you're a GM, you know I'm strictly a point guard. Is that like? Talk, speak to his arrogance as a player, or is your like, point guard doesn't score points. Yeah, huh? And what just that... passes is not a threat. At all. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're more like a, you're more like a big man, honestly, like a pass first center. It's weird. Like, so I don't know what Prime, what I mean, what Ben Simmons will bring this season will kind of dictate like what his we think rest of, of his career. The I guess. good Ben yeah. Simmons was like when he was good for like he a was a couple years. Yeah, yeah, he's a good two K build. He, just a big defense. Back to what he was, I feel like he can be a, a good small forward. Glass clean no, log. You kind of need a spacing small forward. This, this, you know, he has to be a four. He's or being five like in the dunker's position. You know, like Aaron Gordon will run to a certain spot to get the ball. He's like a four five. Aaron? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Ben Simmons should be able to do that when he doesn't have the ball in his hands. Yeah, 4 Instead of just standing on the perimeter and stuff. He'd be good next. I mean, <laughs> he'd be on the perimeter. Can't I don't know. Him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> whoever's on him on the three point <laughs> line is just doing a disservice yeah, to his team. Be on the perimeter, you see that long. video of Rondo and him shooting threes together, practicing? It yeah. was like, how are you going to learn from somebody who can't shoot threes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were saying. Uh, what? <laughs> They were taking turns, and they were like, oh, the captain was like, working in the gym. And he's shooting three together. Yeah, he, he need to call me up. I'll teach him. Man. Do you think he can be Ben Simmons in the three-point contest somewhere? No. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. But DeAndre Jordan? Yes. 100%. Got to stand sense. Dwight? Uh, he can be Dwight? Yeah. Uh, no, I've seen, I've seen Dwight shoot. Yeah. Dwight's I, making I still, him, bro. Dwight's Dwight. making him in practice, 100%. I'm nice. Yeah, Dwight's pretty decent at it, honestly. All right, we got another piece of news, which another trade rumor, which I don't understand. Fucking, I don't understand this one. Mm. Suns could look at DeAndre Aiden use of Nurkic trade. Mm. Dark oh, Horse yeah. game destination or something? This I don't know. Really good. Well, what analyst why. was that? Like uh, that said, uh, they did, whoever said it needed to be fired, but said what? that like uh, uh, Nurkic could solve some of their. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was, all, it was all first take. Uh, I don't know who said defensive? it. Defensive? Yeah. Yeah. yeah someone said it on first take. Hey, what's up with these niggas thinking that people with defensive is like centers? <laughs> oh, first, hell no. First Christian Wood, no, no Nurkic. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, Christian Wood could block the basketball. It doesn't mean you're a good defender, but Nurkic can't do anything. Yeah, at all. <laughs> He's the cone. That shit was crazy. That would be a tanking trade for the like. You get a little more spacing, I so. but I think it'll be better for like team chemistry because. Yeah, Aiden's but Aiden's like, you know, how he's kind of like a pussy and stuff <laughs> like that. Like, yo, we were acts. talking about him highly on the center's video, no? We were, were, but I think he is a good center, but I think there's just too many people on the team to the point where he's not going to get as many shots as he wants. He's going to start complaining and it's going to be a problem. He's but better Nurkic, than Nurkic. He is, but Nurkic is pretty good offensively. So is Aiden. But, but, I, I mean, Nurkic like will know his role. Like, Aiden's better or good enough to know, like, uh, to start complaining about not getting enough touches and requesting trades and stuff like that, you know. True, but I would rather take the chance on Aiden than trade for Nurkic. Like he's not very good. He's he's asked defensively and he's offensively. Good offensively yeah, he's, he's, he's good. Offensively. He's good, but like 
It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. His all his liabilities. It's not worth it. Like Aiden has potential still. You know what I mean? Like Nurkic yeah. is not getting better at this point. So yeah, I'm taking the is. chance on Aiden. We've seen a we've seen a level of Aiden in the playoffs, which is crazy. Like the That's best. Not happening, though, I'm just saying, like we've seen it. Like, oh. like he's young. Too, Nurk like, was Nurk isn't doing that. Like you know what I mean? Force. Even in his yeah, All Star year, he wasn't doing that. Yeah, of course. But the reason I think it's beneficial to the Suns is because putting him in a certain role will let the other players shine and they'll win more games. I'd say instead of like having some sh- like friction between Aiton and the other stars on the team and like them giving him the ball and taking away from them. Do you think Aiton is better than Nurkic going into next season? Of course. Okay. But I'm, you, I, I'm not saying he's not going to be. I'm not saying Nurkic is better than Aiden. I'm just saying it might be a better team fit okay. because of personalities. Okay. Get that or- I get what you're saying. Cause, oh. Yeah, you say Aiden's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I just saying he could, could cause uh, friction towards the team. Friction? That, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's whoa, only whoa. better. Are you thinking about my son? What are you thinking about? <laughs> Am I what? Huh? What's your wording? What's your, what's your wording? <laughs> I think that Aiden will have like uh, better chemistry now that they got because he wanted what's his name gone. You know, Who's like, that Chris Paul. No, Monty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, Chris Paul. Chris Paul got him paid. Yeah, yeah. Chris Paul helped. Him. Bro, Chris Paul's the reason he did. He carried him. But um, yeah, that his best year like, with Chris Paul. Yeah. Just saying. Hopefully, uh, Vogel helps him buy in defensively too. You know, like I'm hoping that his he has the intangibles too. We will but, see. You know, some people don't like playing defense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just sit, I mean, Aiden basically. Straight offensive machine oh, yeah. over here. The only reason they would make that trade though is if the Lillard thing happens. Which I don't even know if he goes into training camp. I don't know what that's going to look like with what's his name, Shaden there, uh, Simon or Simon's and who's mm-hmm. the dude they drafted? Scoot. Scoot. Yeah, Scoot. Scoot. I like Scoot. So are they just going to bench bench Dame or just play play him? Nah, he definitely what? Is like if he doesn't get huh? traded, what are they going to do? No, they're going to play him. <laughs> They'll play him. No, like Dame's, like, Dame's a starting point guard on every single they team. They benching him. Maybe he just doesn't like show up, but they're not play, they're not benching him. <laughs> well, I'm just saying like <laughs> don't play him at all until he gets until you trade him. Well, he he just won't show up. He'll be like personal reasons. Yeah. Out. Soreness because it hurts no, the no, development. I know that. personal, yeah, personal. <laughs> it hurts the development of the other players like Scoot and Simon. Well, well, actually, they might they might find the Blazers for sitting him. Like I'm pretty sure they got new like rules about that stuff. So I don't know if they'll be allowed to sit him. Or bench him, at least. He has to play two games back. They're going to go to Dame with a hammer. Come here, Dame. <laughs> they'll definitely be like, I don't know oh. why they saw him on, his, on the roster. It's just bad for the team. Who? Dame. Because he only wants to go to Miami. Like, all this shit. They can't get a good trade out of it. Bro, that's not their Did you see what oh, Tyler yeah, Hero posted? Did you guys see that funny? Sh- uh, he, yeah. he was like, he said, if no friends in the industry. What song did he put? What did he- yeah, it was no friends in this industry. It, it was, he put that song? This guy, yeah. bro. That was funny. He put it on his IG story. In a plane, sitting like all methodical and Good shit. luck in Utah, Tyler Hero. I mean, it's a business at the end of the day. I it's mean, a bubble guppy. Bubble, 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 get your, bubble, get your bread, bro. <laughs> get your money. I thought this was funny about Dame. Mm. Um, Damian Lillard says he would rather lose every year before joining Golden State. <laughs> he said, I respect what they are doing over the last eight, nine years or whatever. And I'm... Um, from there, obviously, that's home. But I can't be a part of that. It don't even make sense. I never do. I'd never do anything like that. I lose every year before I go. Yeah, I mean, this, this, these dudes been beating them year in and year out. You're just gonna join them. It like was just that? funny that he said I'd lose every yeah. single year. That's like you've been losing. That's the one team. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's, so it's, so it's like the like, worst. Somehow trade for him, he'll like not show up for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like he actually won't. I go. think he would. Like, I mean, the culture is good there. There's Chris Paul's there of all people. That would be a crazy point guard Which rotation. Crazy. Yeah. Steph, Dame, and Chris Paul. <laughs> Do you see the reports of him potentially starting? Like, Clay would be center for that. <laughs> <laughs> play all three. <laughs> yeah, so if Chris Paul starts the season, injured. dude, I, I might kill myself. All right, I can't say it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Serious. <laughs> my God. I'm joking, is everything honestly, okay? But... Is everything okay? <laughs> I don't want to be alive. <laughs> this is about to go 13 reasons why. Is that one of your reasons? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it crazy. will not be a good thing if Chris Paul <laughs> starts. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't even make sense. You're not going to start Jordan Poole, but start Chris Paul? I mean, that's Chris it's like, and who it's... gets benched? Kevin Looney? You're just going to go like <laughs> yes. super small? It's politics, dude. I don't know what to tell yeah, you. I, I think the best option is to have Chris Paul off the bench. And... Me too. Play it through that. They're probably gonna start we'll him see. for like five minutes and then just bench him. Like that might not be bad if they like just start him for two minutes and then yank him. Like that's maybe end the game. Like, but it doesn't make sense not to start him. Or sorry, not to put him on the bench. Whatever. It's just like it really depends like how the minute rotations are. I have to see it first. Like starting him doesn't ma- mean as much. It depends how he plays. Like if they, like I said, if they yank him quickly, he's the first person to sub out. Might not be that bad. We'll see. And as they go through the season, the they'll you know figure shit out. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure. Chris Paul winning a six man of the year award is Lakers, crazy. Lakers in four. He's man. not playing enough games for that. <laughs> Lakers in four. Maybs uh nah. No, Still. No. Steph won't play a lot. I mean Steph will probably play sixty five, but 
There's going to be a lot of uh, sitting for that team. Mostly oh, CP3. He's old as fuck. He doesn't yeah. count, though. He doesn't have to, like... Uh, oh, yeah, he's 40. He's, he's older, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's pushing he's pushing 40. He, might, he actually it might be he's turning 40 P. next year. Pushing P. That is true, huh? Yeah. Um, that's it for the NBA news. You got the... You want to do the Hall of Fame thing Yeah, right let's now? do the Hall of Fame game. All right. So, oh, intro, let me, uh, intro, we're gonna do the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that. That's a sick ass title. Hall of Fame game. We call this the Hall of Fame game. So, I'll be, well, I'll name a player and we'll talk about if they have, if they should be making the Hall of Fame or not. Current players in the NBA. So, will these players make it to the Hall of Fame? Yes, Current sir. player edition. LeBron. <laughs> so, first on my list is Kyle Lowry. Do you think Kyle Lowry should be a Hall of Famer? <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you look, the look, percentage look, after. I'm gonna look at his like accolades. Stuff. Did he have a gold medal? Wasn't he on uh, one of the Olympic teams? Was he? Yeah, he might have been. Yeah, because it's the basketball. Air Canada. Thing. It's not. 20... <laughs> Canada. 2016, maybe. So he is the uh, how many? Yes, name his accolades because he so definitely, yeah, he is, definitely has All Star sure appearance. All right, so listen here, mm-hmm. Kyle Lowry, six time All Star, 2019 NBA champ, one time All NBA. One time All NBA. Let me look up Yami. I think that's a Hall of Fame <laughs> career, bro. Dude. I think this is a Hall of Fame career. DeMar DeRozan, like, besides the All-NBA, DeMar DeRozan has, like, six All-Star appearances. So, if DeMar, DeMar DeRozan, DeRozan is clearly better than Kyle. Yeah, Lowry. but <laughs> accolades-wise, especially that's if he true. won a gold he has, medal. He has no ring, too. He's definitely getting his number retired by the Raptors. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to go yes. It's medal. not a first ballot, but I think he'll make it. I'm going to go with yes, too. For the same reasons Best said. He's going to get his Funny jersey retired. Thing about those all-star He's appearances ballot, is that though, he was yeah. always like the last pick for the drafts. <laughs> or yeah. uh, like when the, they the were choosing him. Yeah, the voting too. Yeah. I think he's thick. Still made it. Still made it. What about you, Amari? I'll say yeah. How many ballots? Like, you know, they say first, but how, how many ballots are there? I don't know. Yeah. Like, Two? <laughs> I'll say, I don't know. All that I means is that, really like, he's... Like, all that like first ballot in. means just means, uh, like, the first year they're eligible, they get in. Uh, That's all it, like, means. Like, if you're not first ballot, that means, like... If he get, the wait. year he's eligible, he's not going to be voted yeah. in. You're like, like Dirk was first ballot, right? What, like, the theory... Uh, was, like, it was, like, a three- or four-year gap or five-year? Five years. There's a five year, yeah. right? After they retire? Uh, something in, like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dwayne Wade yeah, yeah. They won at know. the same time. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, crazy got in the Hall of Fame like two years after he retired or something. Like, I don't they, know. No, I he thought he made extension. it a couple years ago. Yao Ming. Yao Ming okay. and AI, remember? Somebody, somebody recent got in like two years after the. I don't know who it was, but it was like crazy. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I, I'll yeah, say. Dwayne Wade was a minute. Like, five years. Because yeah, you have to crazy. wait the, the same with Dirk because they retired the same seasons, remember? So they waited five years and then they both got inducted. I remember also someone got and in for late. Kobe, right? The the person who got in late inducted was Manu Ginobili. He got late inducted. Yeah, he was yeah, recent he because he retired ballot. like first ballot, yeah. exactly. So yeah. he was not first ballot. I remember because Ginobili retired what like eight years ago, yeah, nine years ago, and he just got re- inducted last or this year. They'll usually like fit him in like if you yeah. know if the class isn't as strong, then you bring back like Kyle Lowry or whatever. He'll get it. Yeah, I, so first. I'd say he's a second ballot Hall of Famer for those reasons. He's never he wasn't like the biggest piece on his team. Six All Stars. I think he was the second All Star on his team when. The Raptors just had their like yeah, streak Kawhi, of winning. him, the Rosen, him, yeah. Pascal, him. So like yeah. a few times. Did Kawhi? So. Yeah, he played. He played a good amount of games that year. Kawhi? Yeah, yeah. he did. The Raptors. Like so the percentage for that is eighty-five percent. Yeah, he'll so make it he'll, second he'll for sure. Yeah. All right, number two on the list, Jamal Murray. Do you think he will end his career as a Hall of Famer? It's too early to say right now, but I, I'm going to say no. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Gabe, what do you think? He has no All Star appearances, no All NBA teams. The championship is good, but there's a lot of players with championships he's without other like, accolades. I think he's only like 27. So it's too early to say, but only. I think <laughs> 27 is pretty old. I mean, well, I mean he's he's playing, like, if he keeps playing up to like how he was playing in the playoffs, he could make All Star teams in All NBAs. But like, do you think he will? Nah. Maybe. <laughs> what yeah, are you thinking? Like six year All Stars, three year All NBAs? He's not going to do that. Realistically? Well, he has the championship. You know? If they win next year, Two-time NBA champion. The thing is, I don't they, think you'll ever be an All Star. They gotta heavily weigh this championship because he did. He did play amazing in the playoffs, but like you gotta understand, all these people have like things that they did during. A lot of people have a lot of players have these things they did during the regular season. All stars, all NBAs to like you know be let into the Hall of Fame. So if I Jamal Murray's just hoping on one insane final, one insane playoff performance, I don't think he's gonna make it. In my opinion, he's still young though. He, he is young. Let me ask you this: well, right now, it's uh, Kyle Lowry, only four-time NBA yet. champion. With no One other accolades, him. but you're the second best player on the team. Do you think you're a Hall of Famer? It's just very rare. There's Depends no situation on who, yeah. where that happens. Where you're a four-time All-Star. You're one of the best pieces. And no, you four have time, no All-Star Four-time appearances. championship, no All-Star appearances. Yeah, that's just like you're a role player at that point. You think so? You no All-Stars? Have, but you, everybody knows you're the second best player on the team. Then you should have an All-Star. Like there's, The second best? Yeah. 
This is like a LeBron led team. Second that best so like four time champion. Yeah, you, always get, you always get no all stars. This is like a LeBron led team. This is like a LeBron led team. It is. If they go to the finals and then they lose, it's like who's their second no, best player? The second best player, but say Timothy you don't Moss. play really good at the beginning of the year. In the second half, you play amazing and play. You got to give me an example because this player doesn't exist. Yeah, if they, no if they're in, at least even players. finals appearances. Four rings. Too, four, right? No, four even say rings. even say four finals appearances. That's hypothetical, that's, though. I just want to feel like that's like un, I can't even tell you it's unrealistic. Yeah, yeah okay, it's not yeah. even. That's a, that's a very. Answer. It's like even I'm thinking of like someone even else, Chris like Chris Middleton. Chris like, Middleton, has three All-Star Middleton. appearances. Yeah, because like, yeah, they they played pretty well. So, so I'm saying, like, if he was getting four chips, there's no way that he has no All Stars yet. Not one. And he's the second best. Like, if you value make getting chips over. After the second All Star, he'll get voted in just for like having that like um, resume. Yeah, exactly. Like Jamal Murray might get voted in this year because of that. Yeah, but it, you know, if he gets another one, he'll for sure get voted in because of that. So. Like, dude, if they win, if Jokic and Murray win like th two or three more, I think Jamal's gonna make it Damn. in my opinion because they're gonna play amazing sure, in the playoffs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, this player doesn't exist. Like, no, but that's, but no Jamal Murray stars, might be but like second that best player. If you think about it, honestly, if he. <laughs> If if like food, I said before, I don't think he's going to beat other people out in voting. Exactly. If this food averages like 17 during the regular season and then averages 30 in the playoffs, he'll be a and he's a playoff time. demon. Like, Do you think he'll make time. it? If that was I mean, case. okay, if, if yeah, if we win two more, yeah, I'll give it to him. But like, mm. Yeah, if he's a four-time All-Star <laughs> and he four somehow doesn't make, then yeah, he'll probably make the Hall yeah. of Fame. Yeah, so uh, I, I don't think Jamal Murray will, will make it. And obviously right now his percentage is low. It's 0. 0.004%. Yeah, yeah. I like the pick, though. I like the pick. <laughs> bold, bold pick. All right, my third person, Kyrie Irving. Oh, 100%. Yeah, he's on no, no question. 100%. But the politics with it. Nah, you like, know, no, look, no. Look at this. He's From a football cold, perspective. Carl Malone in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's different. Like, <laughs> will you, do you think Antonio Brown will make the Hall of Fame? Yes. For football, really? Yes. Even with the he's politics He's one of the greatest receivers it? of all time. Yeah, but yeah, there's, yeah. Always, there's always that Bruh, like okay. bad stain on your, your reputation. I don't think it'll so matter. Like, you don't cool? think it'll matter for Kyrie? No, no. Kyrie didn't do anything that bad, bro. Like He will forget eventually. Oh, like when it's time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do nothing retired. illegal, bro. By the time he retires and, and he's actually being inducted to the Hall of Fame, like people won't. Yeah. The only reason I asked the question is because of his off court situation. No yeah. chance he'll, he does not make it. Zero chance. That, he's not yeah, making it. That, uh, he, has like, he better have 100 percent on there. He's not making no, it. Right. Some, yeah, they better have 99.9. Kyrie needs help to do anything good in the league. He's so by himself, he sucks. He's not making it, guys. I'm just playing. Yes. He has a 93. percent Yeah. Should be higher. Bro, he's gonna be first ballot, bro. Number four. This you guys might have bias on this player, Anthony yes. Davis. Yes, yes, yes. You think Anthony Davis he's is already tops NBA seventy five, so he's yeah, bro. Yeah, that was yeah, like, has to eh. make the whole thing. no way he doesn't make <laughs> imagine. <laughs> he doesn't make it. Yeah, that would be that would be insane if he right. doesn't. Yeah. Next yes. one is um, oh, Anthony Davis is ninety eight percent. Yeah. DeMar DeRozan, do you think he'll make it? Yeah. 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 If I'm giving Kyle Lowry, I'm giving DeMar yeah. DeRozan yeah. Lowry, above Kyle Lowry. But yeah, like, some well, of these players aren't like. The best basketball players ever, and they make the Hall of Fame. Yeah, you think it's, that's yeah. it's easier to make the NBA yeah, Hall Robert of Basketball Ory. Hall of Fame? But I'm asking you if that's is that fair? Like, there's other obviously like we have freaking LeBron I don't James, agree with Michael it. Jordan, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Abdul Kareem Abdul Jabbar, <laughs> and Manu Ginobili on the freaking Hall of Fame. I don't agree you're with it. They're in the same, in the same airspace, you know. There's different levels of like bro, those people though. Like, so there's people Manu that deserve, deserves to be in Manu the Hall of Fame? deserves Hall of Fame in my opinion. He does. He does. He belongs up there. He's like 82. But he's not as good as the other players. Okay, so, but nice. there, there's different reasons why people are in the Hall then of why Fame. Why are you in the Hall of Fame if you're not the? This is supposed to be the nicest of the nice. I think there's different the levels, but obviously if you're getting LeBron to Ginobili, you're gonna find some discrepancy. But then you gotta compare like you can compare LeBron, Kareem, like these type of players. You feel me? But if they're the, all in the, the same. Upper, Hall of Fame. Should there's one Hall them? of Fame, but there's like, how do I say this? There's different floors. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I understand. There's different I floors to the Hall saying, of Fameness. But should that be the case? Famous. Yes. You, Why, you enter. You enter. You have a, the you've had a great career. Ever. You great career so saying, belongs there. The greatest, you don't have the arms. greatest career. Huh? There's only yeah. one person belongs in the Hall of Fame. The greatest career ever. Only one person. These guys in the same tier. You think they should tighten up the criteria for Hall of Fame? Yeah, like... Well, why should I be having LeBron James and Manu Ginobili in the same breath? Bro? He deserves well, to be in the Hall of Fame. Manu he doesn't because to be Manu. In the Hall of Fame. You don't think he's deserving in the Hall of Fame? Not like the same level as LeBron should be. Dude, Manu's like, different though. He has a different why? scenario because he played for one team his whole career, and like that was his role. Dynasty if he team, went to a Hussain, different team. Dynasties like, matter. Look at all the freaking Celtics back in the day. If he all those guys in the Hall of Fame, he doesn't have to perform at some of the like levels that other these stars have to perform with the pressure that they have. The media he wasn't asked for that, bro. He was playing with Tim Duncan because he's a third stringer, man. Like. But do you know what he did the as third, a third stringer? Third He's important. <laughs> okay, my bad. Not a third stringer. I like Manu. He's the third best player on his team. But you know, he, he provided for his team during the tenure he was on. Okay, but he didn't provide at the same level of LeBron and Michael Jordan. He's not the number well, one. Okay, They're different. So LeBron and Michael the Jordan are the, aren't the only two people in the Hall of Fame. How's Scottie Pippen's in the Hall of Fame? How's Scottie Pippen's in the Hall of Fame? He's a number two. 
The reason why I'm Kyrie's saying, gonna like, be in the Hall of Fame because he's in number two. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying the Hall of Fame should be like the upper echelon. You're saying it should only be number one, one option. So then Kyrie's not making it in yeah. your opinion. So like, oh, Kyrie make best. Like, so you Kyrie only think it? Hall of Fame players are number one option players? Like should that be? I disagree. For something in their career, okay. from a statistics standpoint, I mean, and a, um, I disagree. Accolades happen in championships. Yeah, I think that's a little too. The way you said number one only. The when you're saying number one option only, that that's that excludes like how how people play basketball. Like, dude, only Hall of Fame should only be the best players. Listen, think about like this. Only one person would have never been in the Hall of Fame. Because he played with Kareem. Agreed? No, but he, he won uh, without Kareem, too. And he has four chips. He won with Kareem. Not all four of his chips. He has five. He has five? I thought it was four. No, I thought it was I four. He has five. No, it's four. Is it? Does it Magic have four? four? He has less than Kobe, I think. And okay, I don't think he uh, won all of his with Kareem. <laughs> but, like, Magic is one of the greatest ever. Is he not, like, a top five player to you? Well, Scotty Pippen wouldn't be in the Hall of Fame, either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Without Fuck Michael that Jordan, that man will have, like, zero uh, accolades. Shit. That's disrespectful. He had accolades without Jordan when he played for Dude, other teams. He was teams. crying on the yeah, bench without when Jordan retired. He needed his dad back to come. When he uh, why, came why, back why are you hating on home? Scotty, bro? Damn. Yeah, he has five. Yeah, my I shouldn't be getting Hustin, Hustin. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Hustin, Hustin the way like your the way your Hall of Fame yeah, works is insane to me. Let me think so why why only no, what do you mean why? Okay, look, think about this. People have been been in situations where they cannot be the number one because. For instance, LeBron James. And are they the, yeah, and are they the best? Let me just say, no, let me say LeBron James. Or people who have people one? who have played with LeBron, like oh, people. Let me tell you this: Dude. when LeBron was in Miami, okay, granted, Wade had that one before, but LeBron was in Miami. LeBron was in Cleveland, so Kyrie Irving, um, Anthony Davis should not be inducted into the Hall of Fame because he was playing sec second fiddle. Is what you're gonna tell me? Yeah, if they were good enough to be better than LeBron, then they'd be the number one on the team, right? Why would this be? The whole thing I'm asking you is to bring it back to number one option. Sure. You don't even have to be a number one; just have like certain statistics and accolades. And you're like one of the greatest players on the planet. Anthony Davis, from a, a physical aspect, is one of the greatest players and statistical, <laughs> right? But is it, who's better? Anthony Davis or Mondo Ginobili? Should they even be in the same breath, bro? I believe that they both belong in the Hall of Ramon Fame. Mondo's a freaking six man. I believe they both belong in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Why? Hey, one of the best six men to ever do it. Should Jamal Crawford be in the fucking Hall of Fame? Yes. No, I mean, not I like over Manu, like, not no, over Manu by a mile. Like, it should in be my only opinion, the in my opinion. Ever, right? Like, even you, why should there be tears in the Hall of Fame? Is Lou Williams going to be in the Hall of Fame? No. Should, What's, his like What's his percentage? Huh? What's his percentage? Yeah, see what Lou Will and Jamal Crawford but is. You get and then talk to me with right? we'll talk to you with Manu. Talk, no, but you have to understand my point. People are in situations where yes, they're not number one or number two, but Manu contributed a great deal to his dynasty. Hus, how many dynasties are there in, in the NBA? Can you tell me? There's like five, six, right? He did contribute to a dynasty, but. He was without without Manu. I think they could have still won. Like, I, disagree. Had, I disagree, dude. Tim brother, is, to me, is a top ten player of all time. Is, you don't think he's gonna get multiple championships? Manu was literally the aura. third best player and their best guard. I'm sorry, Tony Parker's a little overrated in my opinion. Like he's not. Dude, he, Tony's a Hall of Famer too. Manu is yeah, the second he, best scorer. Is that on the crazy? Team. I mean, yeah. That's. I mean, Tony Parker. <laughs> it's, fuck it, he's not I mean, that good, like honestly. Like he 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 yeah. kind of. I think Manu's better than Tony Parker. To be completely honest with you, Tony was just starting and kind of like the point guard of the team, but like he didn't do nothing special. We watched. Like play. On the <laughs> Not even. Ronald Ronald was the second best yeah. scorer for a long time on that team, even coming Ronald off the bench. Like, he was the second best scorer coming off the bench. He's too. a smart okay, but player. Like, but like, that's but it. Celtics, if Manu like Ginobili, options, let, let me put it like this. If he's so, he's was so one, important. If he was a one on a team, do you he think never, he'd be a Hall of Famer? Dude, he was never asked to be a one. Yes. Though. You, like, you, so you think he'd even like, if he was put on like the Hornets or something like that and they built him and gave him like 20. Three 24. plus and a chip. I'm you get a chip. No, 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 no. Career. Well, I don't know about the rest of the team. Who are they going to have? Who's the team going to have? Uh, a, a competent team. Who's like, competent? He's had a, he's had a like dynasty. A good two, no, I'll good say three. this: if he won like two chips with the Spurs, then left and it was a number one option, he'd be had a, he'd have a whole he'd like off the basis of his, the Spurs stint though. Not no, because no. Of the and he's saying another Spurs. scenario: if they won or one as modern, yeah. if he was like on the Charlotte Hornets and averaged. He would average like twenty five points. Then went to the Spurs and won two chips. He'd be a Hall of Famer easily. First, okay. In my Tim opinion, Duncan, if he, in my Tim, opinion, without Tim Duncan, the whole thing is like mute. The, okay, but he's not a number one option. Bad. But he's he wouldn't a good be a player. Hall of Famer without him today. In my opinion, him and Tony. Okay, I mean, you could say that a lot of a lot of people like you're yeah. taking away people's success insanely I'm not, I'm vastly like, like, like this, be, like like that. I'm not. They're, they're really good players. I'm saying there shouldn't be tears in a Hall of Fame. So you Dude, have there, but there are tears in the Hall of Fame. That's the point. Why though? First ballot. This is the way the ballot system works. Yeah, if so you're not that good is. enough to enter right away, they review you and they're like, okay, we saw good Manu. Enough. That's the question. That's the answer. Good you, enough. You, you paused my sentence. I said good enough to make it right away. They do deserve it. Manu deserves it. Manu, in my opinion, deserves the Hall of Fame. The way it's it, the way it's like evaluated, these players deserve to make it because they're good players. The criteria is loose, so they deserve to make it based on the current criteria. Shouldn't shouldn't upper echelon players just be the Hall of Fame? I mean, I I would we say regard them higher. We regard them higher in the Hall of Fame. That's how it works. Like there's just one Hall of Fame. But I feel like being a number one option, like 
Well, I think they should tighten up the criteria, but you're doing it too much. Like, I don't think you have to be the number one option, but some players do make it in there that Just I like don't agree with. Upper echelon, like your accolades and. I think Manu level. would still be in the Hall of Fame, but some guys like I don't know, I, I can't name up like if is Robert Ory in the Hall of Fame? If he yes. is, he should not be in there. I don't even think he's a Hall of Famer. But if he is, he, he has six not be rings, in there. but or seven. Yeah. Sorry, he has yeah. seven. Yeah. McCall has three. I agree. That's different. Okay, actually, no game winners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big shot, Rob. <laughs> but you see my point, though. It's just I see what you're saying. I just personally don't agree with it entirely. I just think it should I think be they're first balloters. Yeah. Hus think Hus thinks it should be like there's so much Hus thinks Hall of Fame should be like 30 league, players only or like 50. You're gonna tell me Monty Ginobili, uh, if Monty Ginobili had the same hype as a player of LeBron James caliber, Hus 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 I get what you're saying. I don't saying. think Kyle Lowry should be. Actually, like Hus it affects your affects you mentally to the point where you Hus can't perform. Hus think about it like think about it like this too. Manu wasn't a first round pick, so to expect him to be a number one is crazy. Like like this man made the Hall of Fame second round. Do you feel me? Yeah, I do. Like, like you understand this but man was balling out the... as a second round player. But Not everyone's gonna be Jokic, buddy. Second round <laughs> and like MVP back to back. You know what I'm saying? Championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying that type of pressure with the one that you should take that into account of how they perform. Like, if LeBron didn't perform against, uh, I'm just using him. He's obviously like the upper echelon <laughs> example. So is like, LeBron. Yeah. And Jordan. if he didn't perform against uh, the Celtics, uh, uh, Game Six with Miami, like. This dude would be the one of he would have one of the most scrutinized careers ever, and they, that would be a, like a huge failure to them. The Miami uh, run, if they didn't make it to the finals and beat OKC. Well, if I uh, if I had a uh, time machine, I would go back and tell them. Wait, wait, wait! Don't lose. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Yeah, I'll, I'll be like LeBron. Please, like even whatever like, you do, please don't lose to the Mavs. Like, people, yeah, <laughs> like that's too. You have Jason Terry on you. You have Jason Terry. <laughs> yeah, Jason Terry. Like literally. people don't have him as the greatest of all time, or yeah, so not in, even in the Mount play. Rushmore because of that. Series. But go- that's greatest so, of all time is not Hall of Fame. Like, that's that's yeah, goat. That's fair. I'm just saying that. That's goat. That pressure. My goat didn't retire and run from the grind. There you go. I'm just saying. I like the argument though. I like what you're. I I see your point. Me personally, I'm just against it. You know. All right, last player, Mr. Paul George himself. Yes. Yes. I think he's a Hall of Famer. No question. Really? Yep. Yeah. If T Max a Hall of case. Famer, that motherfucker didn't win a single playoff series. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Paul George. one of the greatest skill players of all time. Yeah, but he didn't win a single nice. playoff series. Yeah, so, yeah, nice. Paul George got him. 19 and 30, you got him there. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he needed. Paul George is that team. Really, uh, he's seconds. had some good playoff success, actually. A bunch of conference finals. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely in the Hall. There's no question. Yeah. And he's definitely skilled in terms of like obviously he doesn't have the the accolades that some of the other players do, but the skill is definitely one of the highest. So if I'm saying DeRozan's in there, I'm, I'm definitely putting Paul George above DeRozan. Yeah. Let's see. If and that's Kyle the, if that's, <laughs> if that's a benchmark I want to use, that's I'm gonna use it. Oh, and the Tracy McGrady factor, yes, correct. Do you think uh, Kevin Love is a Hall of Famer? Yes. Yeah. His he was cold in Minnesota. He was getting, he was getting 30 twenty thirty thirties. Yeah. I was <laughs> yeah, say twenty twenty, but yeah, yeah, yeah. one championship. And that helps him too. What about Jimmy Butler? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, it, now I'd say yeah. I saw his stats are yeah. like the same as some other players. His accolades aren't that great because he didn't try, but <laughs> yeah, and he was uh, late, bloomer late bloomer too. Just he's been there. He's been in the but the, the playoff uh, like numbers are ridiculous. So yeah. Blake Griffin. Yeah, probably the fall off of hell though. Uh, all stars, I guess all stars make a decent dent. He had, he had Did he go to the conference finals? Yeah, I, feel I like don't people don't know how good Blake Griffin was yeah. back in the day too. So up until he was making all stars up until uh, like twenty seven. He was good in Pistons too. He had yeah. an all star year in Pistons. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the last all star season. What, what are his accolades? Five time All NBA, six time All Star. Yeah, oh, yeah. Kyle Lowry's sure. making it. Rookie Five of the Year. Kyle Lowry has a championship though. That definitely puts you up in that. The, does. But he has like he has like four All Stars. The championship and one All NBA. He has five and five. He's just been injury prone five through his whole career. It's, it's the injury prone like, and it's the, the fall off. Championship is a bigger thing. Too. He's not a first. The reason why I like Draymond Green will like probably make the. In my opinion, he's in the same realm as Kyle. But Draymond got DPOIs and stuff too. In my opinion, he's in the same tier as like the DeRozan Lowry tier. I don't think it makes him different. He's lower on his All NBA's help him as. Mario was saying, but it's no championship. He's not a first ballot, close. but he's probably Hall of Fame. He's a 50, 54%. Ooh, okay. If so injuries 50, didn't 50. body him, he would have been. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't a lot of people's injuries cu- yeah. fucked them over. All right, this, this could be the last one. John Wall. Do you think John Wall's a Hall of Famer? <laughs> he could squeak in there, but I'm not confident. I don't think so. Me neither. I'm, I'm going to lean heavily toward no. I mean... Yeah. You got to get in one of those years where, like, no one's good there. You yeah. know what I mean? That's You got to finesse his way in. <laughs> like, when yeah. Patrick Ma goes in, they got to slip in yeah. John Wall. 32%. <laughs> 32? are going to forget. Yeah, 32. I was thinking of like, this one's also, even more surprising. He missed, like, four years with I know. ACL injuries. Yeah. The so. banana peel, right? Yeah. All 
right, this one. Oh, no, no, not the banana. What was it? What the fuck Something about like slipping on the banana. Was it? He slipped on the banana peel, right? And he tore. No, no, no. no. Hold that on. sounds I think no so way. crazy. He's watching was, cartoons. Uh, OJ Mayo. OJ Mayo like <laughs> fell down the stairs. Goofy <laughs> ass injury. <laughs> yeah. Cartoon ass injury. Dude, imagine tearing your ACL and slipping on a banana peel. Nah, dude. No, no. One of the one of the Redskins cornerbacks actually like. Fell down his stairs and tore his ACL. I remember that. Yeah, okay, that. that's oh, possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the story is that. John before. Wall suffered. He suffered the injury after a slip and fall at his home. Okay, okay. See, not not a, on not a banana, banana peel. peel. <laughs> is this Tom and Jerry? <laughs> the, the, you know what I remembered? I remember the term peel, but I didn't remember. I didn't remember banana peel. <laughs> Or fall. I remember slip, but then I added banana. I don't know why. I guess I'm hungry. Yeah, he was like a fucking hammer. Yeah, uh, this will be a last one because this one's actually a, a good for conversation. Rudy Gobert. Do you think Rudy Gobert yes, is a Hall of Famer? He's going to be a Hall of Famer, but he shouldn't be. <laughs> he best is right. Best said it perfectly. Why like, not? well, look, according to the current criteria, he will be one, but the cr- criteria, I believe, the it should test. be. <laughs> the no, eye no, no, test. No, like no. the. that boy nice meter. Yeah. I feel like the criteria should be stricter, <laughs> and by him. his, he shouldn't make it. Like, but he will. He has all the accolades, though. Yeah, I'm saying he will, but I don't think he should. That's going to be a funny speech, no. man. <laughs> if you don't make it, he's going to start crying. That he, he has a 21 Good, fuck chance. him. He's a loser. I hate him. <laughs> really? Why? That's That's pretty low, honestly, for yeah. 3D POYs. Dude. Yeah. I don't think he should make it. It's because the eye test tells you that he's not that good of a player. Because <laughs> he's uh, not. But Because he's a, not. But a statistic standpoint, he's making $250 million because of no, that. No, if you I get what someone, you're saying, right? If you put a black and white filter and showed someone Rudy Gobert highlights, to be like, oh, this guy playing in the 50s. Like, that's how his skill is. Like, honestly. <laughs> they huh? might think he's Kareem, honestly. If, if you put him in the 50s. No, hell no. no can't even score the basketball. In the 50s, bro. No, he you still won't be able to. No, he will. Bro. In the 50s. Have you seen Rudy Gobert right in in the 50s? That's in the 50s. Why, 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 why the 50s? Dude, Will Chamberlain. I know. In the 50s. Oh, that shit is in the 50s. <laughs> Dude, Bill Not Russell will dominate like him. The 50s, nigga, like. One person. And he'll make well, all Will Chamberlain, too. I don't even know who was playing in the 50s. Like, can they one player in the 50s? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Bob <laughs> Pettit, like, Even like Sam Jones and it was. Bob Pettit, Pettit like, for sure in the 50s. In the 50s, yes. <laughs> First MVP, because he had to be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good old Rob. Good old Rob. Bob Pettit. Bobbers. D Rose. You think D Rose is going to make it? He's actually going to be the first MVP of all time to not make the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he won't make it either. Who? D Rose. He's Sad not going to make the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Unfortunately, injuries took him. Unless he, have he has it. longevity, though. Unless, Unless he has a 30 point per game season. You see that one uh, RDC skit? <laughs> With the, like, they said, like, if, um, if like, injuries, like, <laughs> there was a god of injuries, <laughs> they, they were, like, making people, like, uh, deciding their um, I didn't punishments. Even, I don't see shit. that one. Their nah, fate? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but then, like, he, they were arguing because they didn't want one dude to get hurt. He was like, he's going to be out for three to four weeks. And he was like, he was like, no, he's going to be good right now. <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> he, said, he was like, he was like, I'm going to say it. He was like, don't say it. He's like, you didn't have this energy for Derek Rose. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say it. Like, I'm going to say it. Yeah, like, he had me crying. Like, he's probably the biggest what if, I'd say. Yeah, for sure. So sad. Well, actually, Greg Golden's up there, too. Oh, yeah, he was we, decent I mean, when he actually played, played, but yeah. But MVP Rose compared to, like to come back Rose. on the Heat. Do y'all remember that? Yeah. He came back for like four games, tried to play on the Heat. First pick, pick over Kevin Durant, right that year. Yep, tough, tough. You know who I am. Unfortunate. You know who he is. <laughs> you know who he is. You know who I am. <laughs> I'm Kevin Durant. Y'all want to hop what? into the uh, Kevin NFL what? stuff? Yeah, we can. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, I, unless you guys have more NBA n- news, games, whatever, we could play those, but. We can talk about the NFL. Less than 30 days away from the NBA. Yeah, that's good. I'm excited. Isn't it's going like to be 15 days to a preseason. We need more subs. <laughs> we need NBA content. That. I don't care about the preseason. I want NBA content ASAP. Yeah, we got to get this NBA content. It's, it's dead right now in the offseason. Yeah. I, I, I hate talking about Damian Lillard trade, I, trade rumors every week. Mm. Um, <laughs> just do something. <laughs> yeah, last week in the NFL was interesting. Uh, recap, recap. Um, and it, Nothing really crazy. The Commanders beat the Broncos on a crazy like Hail Mary yeah, no two-point yeah. conversion. Uh, Cowboys <laughs> smoked the Jets. No more Trayvon Diggs. Um, what do you yeah. doing in oh, practice? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. What do you do in practice well, to tear an I, it ACL? Was, I mean, bro? it's a non-contact. Like I don't know what happened, dude. It could have been yeah, anything. Sure. Like it's just unfortunate. Right. They're playing the Cardinals too. Let the man rest. Limited yeah, practices. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. They didn't really. Don't go too hard. Unfortunate situation. But he yeah. pr- he might have not been doing anything. Like he could have done like a simple route, and it just yeah. Then OBJ's out again already. Week three, no OBJ. Right. <laughs> how did he even say how long he's gonna be out? Nah, not, not too long, but still. already out. Man, like it's been over a year and a half. He's just injury. A lot of injuries uh, this year for a lot of running backs too. Just pack it up. Like he has enough money. Like well, he's gonna pay a lot from this the Ravens this year. Uh, So, but I was just saying like already Zay Flowers is already better than him. Yep. (laughs) Zay nice. Zay Tovin. Yeah. 
The Giants almost lost to the Cardinals, but they came back in the second half. That was a crazy game. You know, Tankathon. <laughs> Danny <laughs> Dimes. Danny Dimes looked terrible. Yes, well, it's not all his fault. The Giants. He, suck he as versus a team. the Niners. Without Saquon, that team has no chance. Like, they have the worst. Re- oh, I don't want to say worst. Yeah, they might be the worst receiving group oh. in the league. Yeah, like, Waller Panthers was kind of washed too. too. Yeah, can't create any separation. Oh, one of them. That shit. Just the, the interception at the end. That shit hit him straight in the chest. Yeah. Yeah. Straight in the, like and that was the a second time. Tri- yeah, a couple, too, yeah, a couple of them hit straight in the chest, and he just dropped Missed it. Like, the whole team's bad. I can't like some of it's Daniel Jones' fault, some of it's offensive line, some of it's receivers, some of it's coaching. It's, it's a whole mess out there. They're just not very good, honestly. Yeah. Did you they, see? They need did you see Daniel Jones's face when he was looking at the Niners' defense that they zoomed in on? Yeah. He was like scared <laughs> shit. He was like <laughs> <laughs> just trying to read the defense. It doesn't know what's happening. Oh, God, that dude. team is is probably the best in the NFL right now. I'd say. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I up agree. There. They have a chance to go undefeated. We'll Everybody see. stays healthy. They have a tough. I mean, they have some tough games. But, but wasn't game two Ayuk like like getting battered and like getting him back into the tent, putting him back out? Was it game two? They don't even need him. Clearly. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Someone else will take the load. Like yeah, fucking uh, which is Kittle. Oh, somebody bet somebody bet on that uh, that young rookie to, yeah, to score get to touchdown. Score touchdown. That yeah, shit was Bell? Crazy. yeah, yeah. Someone someone bet uh, first touchdown of the game. Oh wow! And it was like a plus two thousand. So he he put in twenty bucks and won like probably bet on insider traders too. Yeah. Insider traders. Like oh god! Like, what the fuck? How how did he know? <laughs> The offense is too well coached, too many good players. I saw that CMC has scored a touchdown or hasn't scored a oh, touchdown yeah. since like December 2nd. Has. Of has. has. He has, has right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has. Since December every, of 2020. Every 16, 16 in a row? Or is that? So could have, I should have bet every single game. <laughs> Watch next game, I'm going to bet, and he's not going to get it. Watch. And that's exactly why he's not going to do it. Yeah. Bet against. He's yeah. the best fade, running. Fade Bez right now. Fade Bez. I, I'd say he's the best running back in the league right now. Yeah, he definitely. Easily. Okay, yeah, no, no question. question. Bijan's uh, creeping up there. Oh, Bijan's yeah, Bijan's a Damn. fucking monster. I but like Bijan. He got a lot of time. He got years. Ahead. Yeah. Did you see that higher angle of uh, Green Bay Packers run? Which they one? Post on Twitter like a higher angle of him. Oh, where's like yeah. just fourth like and cutting? two? Yeah, that was crazy. Bro, oh, he's just juking good. seven people <laughs> yeah. in one play. It's ridiculous. Dude, even his first touchdown was kind of crazy. Yeah. Right? Like step back. And, hey. Oh yeah, he's just tackle. insane, yeah. man. Yeah. He's a different it's fun beast. To watch. That Falcon scene is fun to watch. Reminds me of, like, I don't want to say, because he catches the ball more, but, like, Adrian Peterson was yeah. like, you can't just tackle. Yeah, nobody could tackle beast, him. So. Um, Buccaneers beat the Bears. The Bears, terrible. One of the They're bad. They're very bad. Justin Fields, bad. O-line, bad. Big team, Mike, bad. Big Mike shitting on him. Defense, bad. This is it, Fields' last year to make a he threw, he threw a three-yard pick six, bro. I got is so it? mad. Hey, remember that? I mean, it's, that was the coaching, though. Did you see, did you see, did you see them do the same play three times yeah, in a row? That's exactly what why the fuck it's the is this? Yeah, when, when we were younger, you remember the um the lingerie football league? <laughs> what? Yeah, that, that's where he going. <laughs> that's where he going next year. Going to those commercials too, <laughs> yeah, with Zach and stuff. Oh, he man. gonna be in the lingerie football. League. He's not even gonna get the XFL yeah. deal. Like, <laughs> they made yeah. an edit of the, the XFL. XFL deal. Deal. <laughs> yeah, he, he gets straight to the lingerie. It's not even bad. I feel like it starts with coaching. The coaching is just terrible. If he had a good coach, I think it'd be. It's also partially least, on him too. He's yeah, his like, reads are pretty bad. Yeah, he he struggles Just reading run, and bro. he holds the read. ball too long. Like, bro, throw yeah. it, you got to throw it quickly. Like, especially with your O line being so bad, you can't hold the ball and then like, oh, O-line I'm gonna take off. That's how you get sacked multiple yeah. times. So. I saw. I saw. <laughs> but what quarterback would succeed? Dude. Like, if you put if they drafted Trevor Lawrence, you're gonna tell me Trevor Lawrence would succeed in this? No, team? but he'd do better than Justin Fields. Okay, but this still be bad. Though. Yeah, like, they would still be bad. There's a lot of problems there, but he's yeah. not helping the problem. No Dude, quarterback would. Hudson, I saw a thing that, like, that would get drafted. Hudson, I saw a picture. It was like Justin Fields, like in the pocket, and his old line was like there was like six or seven feet of separation for a while and then once the play like dissolves he like tries to like he tries to go through <laughs> yeah. and he gets sacked that was just but, the and, the, and, the, and the image like bro if i if i had, if i had uh, this much space in the pocket i'd be like tom brady <laughs> like some random guy on twitter three but people there, were open also there was a crazy picture of uh, like him against the bucks i think it's this one and there was like this play yeah, that's, that's, that that's, that's the exact one this that's was a sack yeah that's yeah. exact yeah. when i was and the, the, the picture right i saw he goes like a little left to the middle like mm. he tries to go through he gets sacked and they're like so if, I, what, if I if i had time like this in the pocket i'd be tom brady definitely understand partially like his your fault. reading thing yeah but he said it was too much information he's playing robotic if he just does one read and just, bro, I don't know, bro. that there's like yeah okay just some plays are bad like the players don't know what they're doing the play calling is bad but those are when you do get the good plays you got to hit on it yeah man the whole organization is kind of just terrible I yeah just you, this you saw the defensive coordinator he just, resigned yeah he got raided by the him. fbi yeah <laughs> wait, crazy story. wait yeah, what they said it wasn't true but apparently there's a, a report about it yeah. allegedly yeah he got raided by the fbi a credible report, like, yeah, on crazy. some cp 
Chargers. Oh, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then they, they got, got lost a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment stolen. Oh, at the Bears. Today, yeah. I think. Yeah. Did they? Yeah. Who wants <laughs> to steal their shit? I think I the saw work, this. A workout yeah. equipment, like. And then the coaching oh. comment. They're not using Justin the workout Fields. equipment. <laughs> 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 they really aren't. It they probably just confiscated it. We are. We all right. Yeah. You know, you can take it, but we weren't even using it anyway. The charity, dude. Now they're playing. So they're not stealing it. They just repurposing. Yeah. Yeah. They're playing. W T. Somebody go make better use of it. This, it's a bad, uh, it's looking like looking like a bad week. They put yeah, an offer up. <laughs> <laughs> you flip it. You remember when, uh, you remember when the riots were happening and people were stealing stuff? Oh, we were putting like AirPods for twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's oh crazy. man. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens. With them. They're gonna be probably going zero three. They're either gonna go like guns blazing this week and beat the Chiefs, or get yeah, like world star. Um, and, the Bears? The yeah. only other... They're not being... Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, not, they're not. They're not. But I'm they're saying... Gonna Mahomes is going to score 40 points in the first half. Maybe. <laughs> that, we said, we said the Jaguars the and Mahomes... We said the Jaguars and she was going to be a shootout. That shit was lame. Yeah. But the defenses yeah. are pretty good. The they're Chiefs defense is underrated. Yeah. Especially yeah, too. getting Chris Jones back. Yeah, Jags yeah. too. And then the only like real surprise last week was... I don't want to say surprise, but the Browns looked bad. Obviously, Nick Chubb got hurt. Steelers beat yeah. them. Um, it is kind of a surprise to me. I don't Deshaun's think, ass, though. That's all. Yeah, I, I didn't think he's gonna. Do you think he's ever gonna get worse? Not get back to that level, but like get better. I think it's uh, it's just gonna be tough because with the Nick Chubb injury, you relied so heavily on him, and Ford looked good, but he's no Nick Chubb. I mean, and you paid Deshaun that type of money because you want to rely on him, not the running back. And I don't think you can though. Like really? he just doesn't look good. He's not the same. He's not even fifty percent of what he I mean, was. Anything who wants, anybody who went through that's not gonna be playing at the same level. And unfortunately, right? he's. I don't think he could get back to it. I don't see it. I How do you lose know. that though? Start getting good, or I don't know. You got maybe too many massages. Maybe. I don't know. Ah, maybe, oh, maybe the last one was too much. Yeah, pre-massage the Sean Watson was different, <laughs> but I, yeah. I don't know about any more. I think it's uh, all getting into. It's going to be at that point. tough for the Browns. Their defense is still good, so it'll, they'll still win games. But I just don't see them being like a real contender. I think you'll get better as every game goes because I don't know how you lose that type of ability because he was really good before all that stuff happened. So we'll see. He was, he looked really bad though the past two games. Just throw it to the other team. Yeah. Had had a bad fumble. He had a chance to win the game, and he fumbled. I'm pretty sure that was a drive. A lot of penalties, fumbled. too. Yeah. We'll see with him. He's a scrub. Told you. <laughs> yep. We, right. We're probably on his downfall. All right. Week three. Time. Uh, first game is Colts at Ravens. No Anthony Richardson. Uh, Baltimore is eight-point yeah, uh, home favorites. Um, I don't even think we have to. I mean, yeah, what, 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 you I really expect the Colts to win this game. Yes, I did. No. No, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> Richardson's out, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty so Zach Mark, pretty, Zach uh, pretty comfortably going to go with... Uh, probably will. Well, they uh, had, like... Well, you see, like, nobody else played. <laughs> like, no yeah, else man, plays I now. mean, they're going to be down by so much, they're going to have to throw the ball. I don't even... Too. I wouldn't start anybody on the Colts this week. <laughs> really? I mean, Michael Pittman, he's just going to get all the targets. Yeah, he so. might get volume if you need him, but, like, it's just a bad situation. The Ravens' defense is kind of... Tr- Trash too. It no, might be. No it might be raining also. too. Oh really? Yeah. So oh, we definitely get Zach Moss work then. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get touches, but they might yeah. score three points. I'm taking the Ravens comfortably in this yeah. one. Yeah, Ravens. They're my Super Bowl pick too, so I'm just high on the team. Oh, yeah, yeah, self-explanatory. Nah, I don't know about that. The shit. Ravens are the best team in their division this year. I mean, the Bra- the Bengals. We'll talk about them in a little. The Browns don't look good, and the Steelers don't look good. So I think the Ravens are the best team in that division. Now nah, was my time. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I could still go the. I don't know. I, I still feel the Ravens like are the, the Bengals are over two and two. I know they are. Yeah. The Sean of the past. The Ravens. Yeah. Is, it's a Ravens. Bengals we'll still see have what a chance happens of, with Burrow and his no, injury. No, Bengals do not have a chance. They have a chance of turning it around, but stop. No, they do not. No, they do not. Oh, you, you're kicking them out already. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk why when we speak about the team. Um. Yeah, they play on Wanda, so we'll get to them. Uh, Ravens, we all got Ravens. Yeah, yeah. sorry, Colts. Good luck. Um, Bra- Titans at Browns. Cleveland is three and a half point home favorites. This is a toss up because the Titans are not great, but they can win this game as we saw last week. I predicted them to be. I think you did too to beat the Chargers, and they did. Yeah. So um, let's see what what do we think. I don't know if we want to write these down. Want to just pick them out loud? Uh, up to you. Let's just let's just pick them. Let's just right. pick them. What, what do we what do we? Uh, let's go I left to right. One. Oh, left to right. All right go yeah. Ahead, Gabe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, I can start if you want me to. I'm, lean, I'm leaning towards the Titans actually. Okay. Um, but, uh, I was down on them last week. I mean, they proved it last week against the Chargers. So I mean, and right now the Browns aren't looking too crazy. So have to go with the Titans. Okay. I am going with 
The Browns. I think, like I said, uh, I don't know why, but I believe in Deshaun Watson being better than he was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, I think he's. I think he'll get better with every <laughs> I know, week. I know. But um, more of the Titans not like being as good to my expectations. I think Derrick Henry is a bit slower now because he's older. Yeah, he runs that whole offense. So I mean, every right now they're winning games because of Ryan, Ryan Tannehill's production, which is not going to last you long. And the Browns' defense is definitely the best defense they're going to go up against. Uh, Recently, yeah, I think they played the Chargers and Chargers have play. a, a atrocious yeah. defense. They played week one. Um, they played week one. I don't remember if they lost. Oh, I, Saints. They have a yeah. decent defense. I think Browns. But Browns is better. better yeah. yeah. So I think they're gonna win off the strength of the defense, and then, I mean, the run scheme is pretty good. Ford's not bad. They signed Kareem Hunt. We'll see if he still got he'll legs get up. Get some snaps this yeah. week for yeah, sure. Yeah, he'll definitely play. I mean, even when they had him, they like. Yeah, yeah. He I mean, but he's no, going. Not he has to learn nothing new. He's just going back. So. About that, so I think the Stefanski's a good coach too. Mm-hmm. So I think the Browns will take uh, this. I don't know about that. I'm gonna coach of a year. He's coach an, of he, the year. Did he's he? capable. I think he did. He has one. I think with the Vikings, right? No, hell no. He never coached for us. He was our Didn't coordinator, he? but he oh, never coached for us. Okay. I don't know. He's he's good, but I wouldn't call him one of the best. I, I think it's up in there above for me. Above average. Yeah, yeah. I'll go with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pick the Browns as well. I'm not high on Deshaun, but I think the Browns defense is better than the Titans. And I'm also, you know, Deshaun is better than Ryan Tannehill, in my opinion. So Yeah, even uh, looking like this. So. DeAndre Hopkins might not play. Even if he plays, he's not as good as he once was. I really like Amari Cooper this week. Actually, the Titans have a pretty bad secondary. He might have a big game. Elijah um, Moore looks really good, too. I'd yeah, say. Elijah might have a big game this week, too. If Deshaun could throw them properly, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But mm-hmm. regardless of that, I think the defense is better. We got Zadarius Smith and Miles Garrett on the, on the D-line and LaDainia Tomlinson in the run game. Um, and so I'm just going to take the Browns better, a little better coaching, a little better offensive weapons. Don't trust Ryan Tannehill. Um, and they're at home. So all three of those factors, I'm taking the Browns. I'm going to do the Browns too. <laughs> yes, sir. Do the Browns. There you go. You guys said a good, very good analysis. So I'll just piggyback. All right. Next game. Uh, let's go with this one. Chargers at Vikings. This will be the funniest game of the year. I Let's talk about this a little bit. Chargers. Though. Both teams are 0 and 2. Someone got to win this week. Yeah. Someone's winning. And whatever team goes 0 and 3 is guaranteed not going to make the playoffs based off statistics. Probably. But I, I think it'll be easier for the Vikings during the NFC. But for the Chargers, yeah, probably. Yeah, not. because I think 0 and, teams that are 0 and 2 to start the season. That make the playoffs is eleven percent. So zero three. Has the Bengals like did it last zero. year though. So. Yeah, <laughs> and they had, but they have one of the best teams. Like yeah, and they also turned it up after the zero and two. Mm-hmm. But I mean, Joe Burrow was healthy. And yeah. that team was that, the problem was offensive line, not his calf at the time. If so. you're watching this before Sunday, uh, and you play fantasy, start every player in this game. I'm telling you right now, both these defenses are awful. <laughs> Justin Jefferson <laughs> might have three hundred yards. So might Josh Kelly. Honestly, I don't yeah. know because our run defense sucks. So does the Chargers defense, pass defense. Brandon mostly. Staley is a defensive coach. It is kind of crazy. They've had, they've gave up like 33, average of 33 points over the, like this year mm-hmm. and last year. Cool. And he's the defensive coach, which yeah, is ridiculous. Defensive guru. I yeah. think supposed to say. How um, do you feel about the Vikings though? Like as a fan? I mean, own to start. We're a lot of our like losses are self-inflicted. Too many turnovers. Yeah. We, we have seven, seven fumbles and a pick through the first two games, which is unacceptable. We would, we were right there with Philly. Our offense is high powered. Adding Jordan Addison is a big upgrade over Adam Thielen because we actually have someone that can get open down the field other than Justin Jefferson. <laughs> Addison's nice. Yeah, yeah, Addison's really good. You know, we got Hawkinson. Yeah. Um, Jettis is going to do his thing. The run game's not great, but I mean, we brought in Cam Akers. I don't know if he's going to help that much, but at least now it's just like some more help on there. We'll see uh, if we could generate some type of run game. O line's hurt, which is not good. The defense, I think Terrible. it's bad, but I see better things from it this year than I did last year. Like yeah, the, the um, we blitz a lot more with Brian Flores, which is really good. We put, we made it hard on Jalen hurts. AJ Brown, a terrible game last week because we said, you're going to have to run the ball. And unfortunately Philly has one yeah. of the most dominant run <laughs> games in the league. So whatever, but we made it hard for them to pass the ball, which is good. So I see promise there, but it's too young. It's too many young players. I think it's going to get better as the season goes on, but right now not good. The chargers with Herbert Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, they have way more to lose, I'd say, than you guys. Who going down 0-3. Probably, but I, they're going to light us up probably, but I think we're going to light them up too. So I, I expect it to be a high-scoring game. I'm going to go with my Vikings because I think as long as we cut the turnovers down, I think we can, we're can. we a pretty good team, all things considered. Yeah. Kirk has been really good this year, minus the fumbles, obviously, but everyone's fumbling on the team. So yeah. Who's yeah. home? I'm pretty sure Vikings are at home. 
We are at home. So okay. one at one point favorite. So it's basically a toss up. But I'm a, I'm gonna go with my boys. We're gonna get our first win this week. And Jefferson's gonna probably set, get 300 yards. <laughs> I heard if he gets over 150, he'll break a record of first player to ever. Uh, bro, bro's breaking records every games. week. Yeah. Like, <laughs> wonder how much they're gonna pay him when the time comes. 300 million. <laughs> Something like it. I'm actually so going to go with check. the... Huh? So this is going to give him a blank check. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. You write it for yourself. <laughs> you give him a key, to the, a key to the city <laughs> organization. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. Just giving him a sh- ownership of 80, the 99% yeah. ownership. Man. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Chargers this week. I think L- they have L- way, more, yes, <laughs> way more to lose as an organization. Yes, they go down 0-3 compared to the Vikings going down 0-3. Uh, Staley's probably going to lose his job this year. That would be good for them, honestly. Think so? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. So they're going to throw? He does have to go, but... Yeah, there's a lot of in- no, like, but I mean, a lot of reasons as to why the team will not mesh well if they go down 0-3. They have too much money on the books of players that they have. Like Keenan, that's another year wasted for Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, um, Herber, Austin Eckler. Eckler. He's thirty. Yeah. He's about to leave too. So this is another year of the Chargers well, you got being Khalil the Chargers. Mack there too, huh? Joe yeah, Bosa. They're getting up there. Yeah, so they have an older roster. This is like a win now team going down 0-3. Just seals the results of your season. And they just pay Justin Herbert too. So I Sorry, think Chargers. Yeah, more pressure on them to succeed this week, and I think they're going to answer the call. Thanks. So. I Chargers. agree. Chargers yeah. going to win. Yeah, I yeah. agree with us too. I like Herbert. If I was a Vikings fan. I choose the Vikings too. So. Herbie, <laughs> y'all not going to be surprised when I need the Vikings them to stay win. Until Ek comes back. I, but you said it even before. It's a toss up. So I mean, it's going to be it's going to be close. Oh, to your Ek point, I actually think he's like sitting because of. Uh, you think so? He's just no. Thing. I doubt it. I really you think he's actually it. hurt. Yeah, because yeah. he he's on a contract year. He has to play like. That's to true. prove himself, I yeah. don't think he's choosing to. Well, I think he's. I think he's waiting until he's hundred uh, percent healthy. Yeah, he's definitely contest. being cautious with it, but I also don't think he's like purposely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. All right, next like game: it. Broncos at Dolphins. <laughs> Not six and a half point. Six and a half point home favorites are the Dolphins. Fins up. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. I think that's unanimous. No, it's not actually. Uh, you don't think it's unanimous? No, I have to. I I have to choose the Broncos here, not because I have Jerry Judy on my roster, but the fuck? <laughs> have to. Not Let me good. explain why. They have a gun to your head. <laughs> yeah, Champagne going going zero and three. Russell Wilson right now. <laughs> that, it's more of like back to my Chargers point about this team going zero and three. I mean, granted, they don't have the talent on their roster, but they have Champagne. You you gave him a first rounder for him. You're paying him like millions of dollars. <laughs> this is true, yeah. You're paying Russell Wilson two hundred forty. Like, if you don't get it done this week. This team goes down the same path the Chargers are going down to, and they have no hope of ever coming back to be a good team next year or the year after that with under Russell Wilson's <laughs> no contract. <hope> ever. <laughs> I think that under I'm Russell Wilson is what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying all that. Right. Would never be good. I'm not saying three. one loss to the Dolphins is all that. Well, they're going 0-3, and the hell no. they're not going to win in the Russell Wilson This is overreaction. I have a feeling the 0-3 the the argument that you're making for these teams is kind of crazy. Even though, like, yeah, they're back against the wall, I don't think it's they're like going to be. It's, like, literally impossible. I don't think they're going to be. The fact that he said, like, for the next year is just, like, crazy. Like, <laughs> I get Wilson this years. year, but no, no, no. Wilson I wouldn't say, no, no, no. I, I, I disagree right. with that. Do you think you can make a return? Oh, let me let me speak on this. Right. I don't think the Broncos have been bad, but I think I've, I've Russ has been a lot better this year than he was last year. I think... A big problem with them is their defense. It's not as good as it used to be before. No Justin Simmons this week either. So, hella streaks will be thrown in this game. <laughs> Patrick Sertan cannot cover both Waddle and Tyreek, no. so it's going to be rough for the Broncos this week. But I think the defense is the biggest problem. You got Sertan, the second corner. Damn, I forgot his name. He's been getting cooked all all uh, all season. Yeah. Um, yeah, the pass rusher is not there. They got Baron Browning starting on IR. He's one of their best young pass rushers. Traded Chubb last year too. Um, what? They, traded they Bradley did trade Chubb Bradley Chubb. Yeah, they just don't generate pressure. Their defense is not that good. And Russ, they put up 33 points last week. Normally, that's good enough to win before. I mean, week one wasn't great, but normally they didn't put up more than 16 points. That's what Broncos fans were talking about all last season. Yeah. If they put up 20 points, their defense was going to hold the other team to under that, and they would have won. But this year, it's a little bit of the opposite. Game, I mean, yeah, game one was or against the Raiders, so you know, not that impressive. But last week, y'all let Sam Howell cook them. For 35 <laughs> points, and I don't know. I don't want to know what two is going to do to them, man. It's just it's going to be ugly. <laughs> Another four. I think Sean Payne can go down 0-3. It's going to look ugly. He's going to, unfortunately. But I don't think it's the end for them. I think like they need to draft better. They don't have many picks, so I don't know what they need to do. But they need to add more pieces around Russ. I think they still have another season next year. I think he's but cooked, man. the rest of the roster is not good. No good receivers either. I don't think Judy's that good. Sutton's bad. Yeah, also, to that point, the reason why I'm choosing the Broncos. 
Well, I believe in Judy because he's on my team. I, I drafted him. But if he doesn't pan out this game too, I, I'm, I agree with you. He's not a one. You're cutting the first round. No, dropping him in a waiver. <laughs> oh, sadly, yeah, I have to keep him. But like, he's one of the greatest route runners in the NFL, and just sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so is he not? Wait, wait. Yeah, say that again. Easy, say that. Bad. Say that. Uh, he's not bad, bad, but but he's not a one. He's I'll not. Say that. He doesn't have the quickness to him. Like he's a good route runner, but he's not explosive. He drops a lot of balls too. Yeah. Pause. Um, <laughs> but, so he's like mid. <laughs> Marvin Mims needs to get on good. the field more. He's a first rounder. I like, get it, but you're saying like he sucks though. Like he doesn't. He doesn't suck. I'm just. You like, said he sucks. He's mid. He's I'm mid. exaggerating. He's mid. Solid. Yeah. But he won't be a one. Like. Right now in the Broncos, he's supposed to be the one. And if they need to succeed, he has to be fill that role as a one. And if he doesn't, then he's a two for the, the remainder of his career, right? I'd he's say. Like, I mean, I think I look at him as a two already. If he goes to most teams, he's probably a two. Is he fat? No. no. He just, he oh, just he's not athletic. athletic. <laughs> like, he's pretty athletic. Well, he says he's not yeah. fast. So, or, or oh, not. fast. No, I asked if he's fat first. <laughs> you well, said he's not fat. fast, right? Why would he, he be fat? Why you fat? <laughs> he's an NFL athlete, brother. Yeah. He's not an old lineman. He, you're saying he has good route running, he but has he's good not fast intangibles. Enough. Yeah, yeah he's, so I asked if he's fat. He, just does, he doesn't run as fast as like Zay Flowers, but he's like, just you can be, you can have like the best route running, but you can't create certain separation. You can't like he's like a little quicker than Adam Thielen. He's like that type of player. Yeah. Okay. Good route certain runner. Bursts, good. Like if you don't have a real like burst off yeah. your, your run. He's not explosive. I'll, exactly. That's it. Okay. Mentality too. Like if you see a he's not defender run go to by. the right and you don't like make a quick move he, to the left type okay. of thing. IQ like. Here's a lot that goes in. Route running is not the only thing like that'll make you. Yeah. Do you think? Receiver. Do you consider Stefan Diggs explosive? Yes. And he's not on that level at all. Well, he's on another level of Stefan Diggs is on another level than him. Yeah. Okay. Easily, like. Okay. Stefan Diggs is like I meant a top to five receiver. Before, um, with, the, with the when we talked about the Browns and the uh, Steelers, mm-hmm. what do you guys think about Najee? <laughs> Oh, he's cooked, bro. He's bro, he <laughs> runs so fucking slow. That play. But they were saying they were saying that the dude in the back is a safety. He outran him. Well, safeties are supposed like to be no, no. Fast, that though. play where he like ran to the right side. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. there was ran a bunch back. of tacklers ran yeah. back. That was that took like forty seconds on that yeah. one play. I don't even blame him though. <laughs> like, like he's so slow. He's yeah. so. It lo- I mean, no he, burst, bro. He looks slow. He looks like hell. Ezekiel Elliott from last year. Yeah, it didn't look good, but already. Yeah, had he's only been in the league for three years. I had to bench him. I mean, yeah. I don't know, man. He just, he just, uh, he doesn't have amazing vision either. So I don't, I don't see Jalen Warren's better than him, unfortunately. Yeah, he is. So the I'm one that, him. the one that made me mad, like the, the one where he ran back and ran back, but I was like, whatever. Yeah. But the one that made me mad, remember, it was like, there was like the first down marker and then like the people were over there. He was just like, <laughs> oh, I and remember just did that. it right. Like, yeah, he yeah. just did that in place and then just got trying to find the like, ball. Who are you trying to yeah. juke yeah. out? <laughs> he could have just so ran bad. straight as soon as he got the ball <laughs> and, and probably got a first and like tried to run through somebody. Like, I don't even blame him though. Like, once you hit 25 and you're not like an elite elite guy, like, you just done for. So, I mean, <laughs> He's just dead. Done. I don't even know if he was ever good. Like, he might have been yeah, maybe first year. Rookie year. Yeah. Yeah. And, and no, that wasn't even like because it wasn't that good. Big Ben was like, he can throw throw far, so you had to keep the. <laughs> it was the worst thing to watch the Steelers that year, like his last year. Yeah, I think he had a cooked. rib injury or something like that too. So he just throws to Najee, and he had like a record for how many running back targets in the yeah. league. Or he was good a second year too, high. but then after no, that, I know he just... wasn't. I don't think he was. Yeah, I don't remember him now? being that good. This ever. is his third year, which is crazy, right? Is yeah, it's his third oh, year. Yeah, it was. <laughs> he just, <laughs> he just joined the league good. pretty late. Yeah. Yeah, he's like he's 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 he came in at like 24, 25. He's cooked. He's twenty five right he's now. I cooked. Think he's cooked. Oh, came really? in at twenty two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Got to come tripping. in like at twenty one, twenty. Some yeah. There's some. A lot of players are old though. Like some, some play, running backs come in late. Sadly. Um, what was the next game? Patriots Jets. Mm, this is a good one. Uh, let me tell you a little story about Zach Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I want to hear Gabe first. Yeah, I want to hear Gabe first. first. Last week was not a good take. So let me let's uh, see you redeem yourself. Okay. Three interceptions. Okay. Zach first, Wilson. first, I'm gonna. I'm gonna t- what you, you got the wrong guy. I didn't watch that game. You know what I saw in that game? I saw in that game someone who's not giving up. By the way, if Garrett Wilson didn't <laughs> take that slant he 80 yards, he would have had like 100 guys, listen, yards listen, in the game. The reason the way, he had been three games is I saw someone who's not because he's up. still throwing the ball. If he had if he had one and he gave up, that's bad. That's bad mentality. <laughs> if, the reason that he has, he kept throwing. He kept trying. Don't that's stop that at one pick. Keep going to <laughs> you, four. You can't get discouraged. So you got to keep letting it fly. Who Unfortunately, some more picks happen, but that but that comes with the nature of the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Rodgers didn't throw a pick for two years. Then he threw like two in a row. Remember? He's one of the greatest ever. Zach Wilson throws three. <laughs> In one game, but yeah. I'm not comparing. I'm comparing a story right now. I'm you not know, comparing I players. Aaron Rodgers I'm comparing, threw four interceptions what's in your, one year. Yeah, but then he threw like four, like in four games. What's remember? your prediction? Yeah, after I mean, that stretch, yeah. I mean, like my he, prediction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I kind of like, I kind of like this, I kind of like the Patriots, but I, uh, I'm predicting a bounce back game from Zach. I think in the Jets are gonna no, win. No, I think the Jets are gonna not win. Not two weeks in a row. He's g
He's going to drop 242 yards, <laughs> one interception, no three touchdowns. Oh, three yeah. touchdowns. That's crazy. He's gonna I actually for... would put so much money on that not to have He's gonna, And I'm buying Jets right here, so it's done. Do you want to spin the wheel for that one? <laughs> Fuck no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but listen. But listen. No, but listen. But listen. But, but listen. Yeah, if you He's really gonna... believe in Zach Wilson, put something on Let it. Let me tell you something, my friend. Zach Wilson will have a good game this weekend. Watch. Put I actually think this might be his worst game if he th- how, this year. how about if he throws two picks? You got to spin the wheel. Dude, if he throws three picks, I'll spin three wheels. That's not the point. The point <laughs> is, I'm not spinning that damn wheel because people, got, other people got to spin oh that wheel God. too. How long are you going to use that excuse? Let, well, who do you think is going to win, buddy? I, I choose the Patriots. Oh, that's I pick. choose. Tell me why. <laughs> well, that, their defense is still really good. No matter what, I mean, Bill Belichick can coach a good, great defense. Offense actually looks more competent than they did last year. You got people like Kendrick Bourne, Glenn Hunter Crazy, Henry, Devontae <laughs> Parker, Hunter Henry. Isn't someone Stevenson on that team? Yeah. Andre Stevenson, yeah. Isn't he good? Yeah. He's good. He's decent. I don't think they'll be like super efficient because the Jets' defense is obviously pretty stacked. But I think they'll score enough points to beat the Jets because Zach Wilson is a hater. Dude. Last year they played <laughs> was like 3-10 to 10 game in the Patriots. No, it was like 3-3 three to three oh, and the Patriots yeah. won off a the power return. Uh, that's the Yeah. That's when Zach That's Wilson the game. lost That's his the job. Game. He's like, nope, blame, I don't want to do that. Blame the yeah. deep. Blame the... Oh, man. And uh, what Bill funny. Belichick is going to do to him defensively is going to be ugly. This yeah. is going to be, I think, Zach Wilson's the worst game. He might not even crack 100 yards, in my opinion. You. Aaron Rodgers is getting hurt. He's going to have 45. Hurt the, the longevity of Zach Wilson's career. I think man. he might get benched in this game. I don't know if they even have oh, another quarterback. You know how bad that is, though? Is like, Mike White's I think it team? might be this bad this week. Like, it might be get real no, ugly. I'm talking about, like, longevity-wise, though. If he gets benched this season, he's not even going to be on the roster next year. Yeah, but he's bad. If dude. Aaron Rodgers played this year, he could be on the roster for at least three more years. Yeah, okay. but yeah, you're off right. the bench. You're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Learning, you know, the, the Your time is now. Yeah, to, Jordan Love type Yeah, shit. now we know he's a fraud. He's not going to get to We've the We've known this, we, though. That's why they traded for but Aaron Rodgers. Like, we could have, like, we had the narrative of him being the second pick. Oh, just learn behind Aaron Rodgers like Jordan Love did, and you'll be here, and you'll, like, take the franchise to wins. The reigns. Yeah, well, the we already seen him play more than Jordan Love. Like, he had a whole year starting, and he was bad. Yeah, but they're saying, oh, you didn't grow the QB the right way type of thing. Yeah, now it's just, they couldn't believe it because he wasn't going to play, but now he's playing. And we know he's not going to. If you're not good in your third year in this league, he probably won't him. ever be. They should yeah. trade for it. Taysom Hill. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he's worse than Justin Fields with like reading the field. He, he literally throws to the other team. Yeah, Justin Fields is okay. Is okay. I, I kind of blame the team for that. But no, Zach Wilson I, is just really bad. Like I no mean, matter what, Zach Wilson would be bad. Justin feels like doesn't see so he, open, like, open he, people, but like Zach Wilson just throws to the defenders. Like, y'all are dissing my two favorite. Y'all are dissing my two favorite quarterbacks right now. I need you to calm no, down. Why are those your two favorite? Oh God! There's so many good QBs. Josh Allen. There will be a day. There will be a day when these guys are at the top of the food chain, and I'm gonna stare at you guys. I will never see that day. To be fair, if Justin Fields is on the Jets, he'd be a way better player. Probably. 1,000%. Yeah. If he was on the Falcons, he'd go crazy. Oh, my goodness. That, that team, run game. Cool. He's yeah. going to escape the pocket the first second. If he's on the 49ers, the- that team would be really good, too. Nah, I don't think he can make the throws, but he I mean, Falcons, they don't even throw. So yeah. Shanahan will make it work, I, I think. Didn't Fields used to yeah, throw in college? Pick. Like primarily, he was a throw. Like he used yeah, to no, sling. Yeah, I'm picking Patriots if it wasn't obvious enough. Mm-hmm. They're gonna it do nasty things to the Jets. <laughs> Even though the Jets are at home, I'm taking New England. They're zero yeah. two. They got to win this game. Also, they're they're gonna make sure they beat the Zach Wilson led Jets. You think Belichick gets fired? Ever? Also, Brees Hall's <laughs> mad. No. He was ta- tweeting yeah. talking about the four, four carries. Footballs? Yeah, Dalvin Cook looks washed too. He's 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 slow. Sauce shit is pretty too. mad Super too. Washed, but I'm not playing as well. So yeah, but he he'll be fine. Deep is good. All right. Yeah, do you think Bill Belichick will ever get fired? No. no. Who do you think is going to win, Omari? Patriots. All right. Pretty easily. Next game, Bills at Commanders. Bills. Buffalo, six-point favorites. Bills also. Damn, really? You guys don't believe in the Commanders hype? 2-0? Not over the Bills. Hustin, don't talk to me. Yeah, not over the Bills. <laughs> 2-0. <laughs> like, I think it hey, should man. be a closer hey. game. But when was the last I'm time they were 2-0? Since like RG3 days? They won't be like 2-0. If that. They won't two be and two and 14? <laughs> <laughs> two and they 14. They did play the Cardinals and the Broncos, so, you know. Still, 2 0 for that team. Sam Howell looks kind of okay. Yeah, he looks decent, but. Kind of okay. The Bills <laughs> are. Reassuring gonna... confidence for that quarterback. The Bills he said, I was choosing shit the commander. I'm definitely hey. choosing the Bills. I'm he looks saying. better than Justin Fields right now. No whoa, cap. Whoa, whoa. Diggs going for 10 touchdowns. The enemy is actually a pretty good coordinator. So. Right. Yeah. Sam, Sam Howell spreading the ball around. Everyone's getting looks. Yeah. So. But yeah, I think this is unanimous Bills, right? Yeah. Falcons at Lions. This will be a close game. Detroit, three point home favorites. No yeah. David Montgomery in this game. Almond Ross, St. Season? Brown Good is season? hurt, but he's probably going to play. Um, I'm going Detroit. He's got to thug it out. Who are we picking with this one? I'm going Detroit. I'm, on, I'm right. picking Lions as well. I'm going to go with. You said Almond Ross is going to play? 
Yeah, I'm expected. going to pick the Falcons in this one. I think. No it, I mean, I could see the Lions e- winning easily. I'm just gonna try and be trying to be I different. I agree with you. I'm gonna choose Falcons too. Um, no. The we saw <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> yeah, you, I you're think uh, Seattle played them last week. They beat them in overtime. Having no David Montgomery. I mean, Gibbs is good, but he's more of a receiving back than a you know. Have, he hasn't given the chance. They haven't given him the chance. To he's just not that player. He's a small guy. He's like five nine. Or, quick dude yeah. like that's not really his role so i think that'll hurt him a little bit and the falcons is the antithesis of that they literally run the ball every <laughs> fucking play so i'm gonna go with the falcons just the clash of styles here um but i, I obviously could see the lions winning but i'm just gonna oh, go with the falcons. wait i changed my pick i changed my pick uh picking falcons for Bijan. <laughs> you like you're a Bijan believer i am yeah Bijan's yeah, different crazy. he so might i gotta do the switch up you know what I'm saying? that's why i just think that the team is really good once they get like i'll read Bijan, trust nobody these days i'm just they're my Bijan. dark horse team to like to do what? Win it all. <laughs> <laughs> to do what? If you have to choose a team, like a dark horse team, <laughs> to I, I do what? They can, yeah, but they can win no, it all. To no, do no, what? No, no, no. Maybe they not count the dark horse. The reason? No, the I wouldn't reason? count. That's I wouldn't like say they have a, any chance. I don't think they do too, but I think that's a dark horse pick. Though. To win it? No, maybe <laughs> make the playoffs. Say win the division. Dark yeah, horse win yeah, that's good. Yeah, because I guess the Saints are favorite. To do what? Yeah, I think that team. Last year, they're in every single football game by one touchdown. They just don't have anybody who can throw the damn ball. I mean, even right now, they yeah, don't have anyone anyway. But it's Isn't better. Is Ritter in that food Yeah, he's oh, better, though. He does his job, at least. Yeah, so. He's still bad. They but. can get the passing game going. That team could be very dangerous. They won't, but, you know, I think <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's underrated, though. Defense is Jesse Bates. I like him. Yeah, yeah, I, feel like, um, I feel like the Lions just have a more dynamic offense. They do. I mean, obviously, Montgomery is hurt, so that like, hurts their run game. But, yeah, like you said, they still have Gibbs. He's not, like, necessarily a runner. But it's like their offense is definitely more... Like explosive, to figure yeah. Out. yeah, and explosive. Like I feel like you well, know, Falcons are kind of boring. I feel like man. knowing they just run it down. They're not using easier. Cal Pitts. Well, have know. you seen the times he's he's done routes? He's like wide open. Now see, like Drake London finally got. They can't him, throw bro. him the ball, bro. Yeah, Dude, Ritter can't throw. They it to him. I mean, it's not even in the scheme, Dude, though, the play, the play, like two weeks ago or one week ago, where he caught, he had to like shove a dude out the way and catch it. Like it was just, it's not even close to him. But they don't throw it at all either way. Yeah, I mean that's why because they can't throw it accurately. That's why. That's. That's why I probably got the Lions in this one. But. It's going to be one of them. It's either going to be Pitts or London that like ever does decent in one oh. week. It's, it's never going to be both of them. One of them is going to get Man. zero. The other one might get like 10. It's crazy, though. I really yeah. died both I top five picks, which is insane. Yep. Not getting used. <laughs> As I said, the same with the mustache. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're all have a, they all have a mustache now. Like, the Falcons? Arthur Smith just has like a straight up mustache, and the coaching staff followed it. What and now hell? that uh, now Kyle Pitts has a straight up mustache too. Now <laughs> they're saying like, "Oh, Kyle Pitts has a mustache now to get more targets." <laughs> yeah, he's, he's kissing up to the coaches. Let's <laughs> like, just say like in his in his most recent attempt to get yeah. more touches. <laughs> I hope like, it works. Like, like what else works. is he doing to get more touches? <laughs> Bro's desperate out yeah, there. Like, they just have like a straight up stash. Nothing else. <laughs> That's so crazy, dude. Yeah. yeah we I'm got next nice. game: Saints at Packers. Packers one point home favorites. What we got? This is Fuck the game. Packers. The Saints are gonna win. Fuck the Packers. I hate Jordan Love. He sucks. Whoa. Whoa. And, and that one. Whoa. What's that one rookie's name? Reed. Who's doing the left? Dude, yeah. that guy sucks too, bro. I don't want to talk about him. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Why are you hating on Packers? Fuck the Packers. People in my comment section. Fuck you guys. You guys are lame. <laughs> Damn. Go Pack. Go. We got go beef over go. here. Super cheese. Go. Super cheese heads, bro. Get him out. I'm going, I'm going I'm Packers. Going. I bet you are. Let's yeah. make a bet on that. You want? Um, are you actually gonna spin the wheel? Why is it? I have unlimited funds to bet against him. You don't want to do that. No. Yeah. We gotta make it entertaining for this Jones playing? Questionable, but I don't think he will. Don't matter. Actually, no, he's been Saints practicing. Four. I don't okay. think Watson's gonna play. Yeah, probably not. Even if he it does, doesn't even matter. I mean, it's too risky. Yeah, he's uh, not Jordan play Love. Much. Actually, has been making like the correct throws. <laughs> the <Correct>. QB sneak. <laughs> that was funny. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny. He's actually one of the, uh, like, How do you even do that? Like, <laughs> he's averaging three touchdowns a game. He's making the correct read. I think uh, the Saints' defense is pretty strong, but. Derek Carr has been underperforming to what I've liked, so uh, we'll see. That means he's building yeah, up for the game. Yeah, he's yeah I got, building up I got for the game. Maybe. Um, I could see the Saints winning, but they have no running back this week. Kamara's still suspended. Williams got hurt. Miller. They're getting Kendry Miller back, but he's a rookie first game. I don't know how much. It might be we'll a see. Taysom Hill game. I was about to say, don't they have Taysom Hill running? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he might be getting all the runs. Um, it's so maybe. funny because you know he's running the ball when he's in the game to oh, snap yeah, for two. He can't stop it. It. Bro, the good one is the one where he does like the, the, the was it a play action? He does like a play action and then he has any <laughs> bolts, bro. Yeah. That yeah. One's, or when he does let it go and he fakes it and then the running back is good. And That's they know it's going to him too. That's the only reason he's in the game. Yeah, it was funny, bro. Like in the last game he did it 
three straight times that they put him in, like immediately they just ran a, yeah. an option. I'm like, yo, the third time he's got smacked. I'm like, <laughs> they, they, they was gonna expect it the third time. Yeah, he's, like, he can't tackle him. One like, time he's gonna throw and no one's gonna expect oh, God. it. Like, he, he, can, he can throw. He don't. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it gonna be yeah, wide the can. fuck <laughs> open. <laughs> Funny thing, it's, it's like, like when uh, the Eagles <laughs> like, like sneak it and you can't stop the sneak. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's oh, coming. That's the most unstoppable <laughs> yeah, play right there. It's insane. Because the old line's d- crazy and, and Jalen Hurts strong. Hurt strong. Yeah, Hurts is strong as hell. Yeah. Didn't, he, didn't he like squat like 600 pounds? Yeah, yeah. he's strong. I saw yeah. TikTok yeah. about that. QB, Bro, sure. he like runs through people. Yeah, that's why runs. it works so efficiently for them. <laughs> they say Bryce Young is too small. Yeah, they put Andy Dalton in for a sneak against the Saints. That's so crazy, dude. It's crazy. Is that even true though? If you're smaller, you should be able to fit through the hole. Yeah, but you, get, you, you can't push. Use your you weight yeah. to get over. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, nigga get hurt so fast <laughs> <laughs> if their linebackers <laughs> running you. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm gonna go with Packers, but I could easily see the Saints winning. I think uh, their defense is yeah. probably better than the that. Packers. Division is wide open still too. Packers are up there one and one. Yep. So, yeah, who's next? Amari Saints. The Saints. Okay. Yeah, then Saints. we got Texans at Jags. Jags oh, eight point home favorites. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go with the Jags. Who's watching that game? Hey, C- <laughs> CJ Stroud looked good, but if it have three people watching the rest of the team, pretty bad. <laughs> if they had the game on Twitch, you'd just see three. <laughs> I wonder who we're picking for this one, guys. It's a divisional yeah. game, so it might not be that like blowout. Mm. Usually, divisional games are closer. Uh, um, Jags look pretty bad against KC, or Lawrence did at least. I think they're definitely going to look way more efficient. Going Probably, into Houston, but so. Stroud looks good, though. He does, but they're playing from behind. A lot of players look good from when they're playing from behind. I mean, twenty four zero. Like, Z, I mean, <laughs> he looks, Zach Wilson plays from behind every game, and he doesn't look right, as good. Yeah, as right. All right, all right, all right. That was like five teams. Also, ago, for, still <laughs> just comparing uh, for rookie QB looks good. I'm yeah. really impressed with what I've seen. What, what, what I've seen from him so far, and he's throwing to Nico Collins and they like Tank Dell. They're Tank decent, nice. but Schultz is good. Uh, Robert Woods is still okay. I think uh, Stroud is helping him because he's playing yeah. well. But, yeah, Jags are easily winning, obviously. Yeah, sure. um, then we got Panthers at Seahawks. Seahawks only five-and-a-half-point home favorites. I'm going Seahawks. Uh, going Andy Seahawks Dalton, 1, Red Rifle starting for the C, uh, for the Panthers this week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the upset. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm going to pick the Panthers. That's and he's going to be right, too, because, bro, he gets these no, upsets right, bro. No, he's not. But I'm going for the Seahawks 1,000%. Seahawks this year. Gino, he, this I'm just being him. different. Obviously, I think this, the Seahawks are probably going to win, but I'm just going to... I'm I'm, I'm going case? for the Panthers. I need case, DK, that's the DK two touchdowns. Block it two touchdowns. Hey, whoa! Oh, the, I like it. The Seahawks defense is really bad, actually. Uh, they have no pass rush. Yeah, very bad. Tariq Woolen's not playing, and they have another corner not playing this game. So it's they're they're already down their best defensive player. So and that didn't even matter either. So. I mean, the Panthers' receiving core is awful, but the they're going to be okay. playing against second stringer. So I think if it's, it's any be, week for them to go off, it's this week. So y'all, yeah. you know, feeling I'm, feeling time. I'm gonna. I think he did good last week, but a lot of it was just kind of. It's gonna be a high score. Yeah, it could uh, be. Yeah, Seahawks be offense is game. really good. Yeah, it's super yeah. good. Like they can they, score. K nine is nice as hell. They have three really good receivers. Just yeah. like and Gino's defense. hitting them too. Gino's like good, consistently. Yeah. And Dalton's a vet QB, so he'll make the right reads at least. Yeah, so yeah. the game will be more entertaining because he has more experience than Bryce Young. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm going Seahawks. Did you guys see that funny thing about Bryce Young? He was not lined up correctly on the snap. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. That shows funny. He looks so tiny. He's small, bro. It's he's funny because he's my height, and I'm not like. And I know I'm short, sure, but if I'm calling him, he looks short. That's kind of. He's funny. also he's against grown men. We'll say that. But <laughs> he's a grown there, man. <laughs> there have been there's I know what you mean. there's gr- good small men. QBs there, so I mean he's you know, Kyler more, Murray. Yeah. It's more yeah. that he's so skinny. Kyler's like five like, eleven too, but he's yeah. Kyler's kind of big. Kyler's yeah, thick. All, pause. All the other yeah. one, all the smaller QBs are normally like pretty built. He could bulk up a little bit. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, he's smart. Right now he's like smart player. Have we seen Kyler Murray do a QB sneak? I don't know. He just, <laughs> run, he just like he just, yeah, he runs. just like scrambles like yeah. fucking little, little, seen, like Speedy runs Gonzalez. His, yeah, he runs, he runs is hilarious. He looks like yeah. a flash. <laughs> yeah, remember that nice. one play against the Raiders where he like took twenty seconds <laughs> yeah, and scored? And scored. He just ran it in. That's why he's getting paid the big bucks. Yeah, he's, oh, I think uh, I was watching that game. That he's really one of the best game. improvisers in the league. Like, yeah, he sure. doesn't watch film, but he can, <laughs> he can extend plays like, like low IQ but, but dumb lucky. He's not low IQ. That one player, uh, remember last year? I think it was the Packers. He threw it to like AJ Green in the end zone, and he turned around like, "Where the fuck? What the? Where's the yeah. ball?" Yeah, <laughs> and it got intercepted. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "What? <laughs> What's going on there?" Because AJ Green didn't even know like it was coming to him. He retired this time. year, like pretty recently. Mm. All right, yeah. he signed a one. Uh, Isn't he a Hall contract. of Famer? I think. I think make Probably. It. He's one of the, he was one of the best in his time. Yeah. Right. Next game. The question is not who will win, but by how much. Hmm. 
Cowboys at Cardinals. Yeah. <laughs> Dallas is Cardinals. 12 and a half point road favorites. Cardinals have to come back from that L they took last week. Come on, guys. Yeah, Obvious. Uh, They're down, bro. <laughs> uh, we'll yeah. see how big the digs thing is, but. I don't what? think it'll be the Diggs injury. Oh, no, I mean, they don't have any. <laughs> see how big the Diggs thing is. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, what yeah. thing? Say, yo. <laughs> I said, you were saying a lot of sus comments. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Friction. Yeah, no, no. The I got Cowboys to tank. Yeah. Uh, by 20. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Things going to be ugly. It's going to be, they're going to put that game on like I the back burner. I freaking James Conner and Marquise Brown on our, my team. Yeah, I got, I got maybe Hollywood. garbage time though. I got Hollywood and Ertz. Ertz, I mean, Ertz, dude, like that was one of my. He's best gonna, pickups. he's gonna get he's six receptions for game. six yards. But I yeah. promise. Yeah, he's, <laughs> the bro, he's, he's racks up. Yeah, he racks up the the, the catch. All he does when he, he catches points, he catches it and falls down. Like that's his, yeah. that's, that's yeah. his job. He's yeah. like he might as well be the check down. I hope Kyler comes back. Might save me. I hope so. But yeah, no uh, one Cardinals are not seen, winning this. No, I mean for redraft so oh, Marquise okay. Brown can get better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he yeah, should play this, year. this year. His job might be at stake if the Cardinals are that bad. If they get the first pick, you're yeah, out, yeah. Kyler. Yeah. yeah. So he I, I said I predicted him going to the Vikings, which I like. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean that's that wouldn't be terrible for us. Yeah. I think that he might fit in our offense with like extending plays, especially with our O line being well, it's banged up this year, but the you know still You guys would great. probably draft to our O line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah, Cowboys across the board for sure. Yeah. Yeah. This one also not who will win, but by how much? Bears at Chiefs. Chiefs twelve and a half point home, twelve and a half point home favorites, Jeez. just like the Cowboys. Uh, yeah, the the defensive coordinator is literally not there anymore on a sh- on a you know <laughs> short notice, I guess. They don't so need him. They don't need him. It's not like the head coach knows what he's doing, so oh, I can't brother. imagine it'll be any better against Patrick Mahomes this week. It's gonna be ugly. I really think it might be. I mean, there might be some bad blowoffs this week, but this. Might be one of the worst, just with all the stuff going on with the Bears. I can't imagine. I mean, maybe the offense will be better, but the Chiefs have underrated defense, and yeah, the, no, they're they're not winning. Yeah, I disagree completely, but that's yeah. <laughs> oh, what, you got you guys think the Chiefs are gonna blow them out? But watch disagree. when the Bears blow them out. Why? Why are the Bears gonna blow? What? Them? Because they're angry. They're pissed. Look at what's going on. They're down. They're, they're, they just lost all their uh, practice equipment that they're not even going to use anyway, so they're mad. I can be pissed and play so Kevin Durant. They Durant. don't even look. They're, they're going to prove they're going to win without that dumbass defensive coordinator that like, angry. got let go. Did he, did he re- resign or did they let him go? What? How'd that he resigned. Work? Hopefully he resigned? They, yeah. Hopefully they arrested him. <laughs> allegedly, 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 allegedly. He resigned. Allegedly. That's not Hopefully alleged. They, arrested him. they don't even need office. that fool, bro. They're going to win without him. That's why I told him I can play Kevin Durant. I can be pissed and play Kevin Durant. I'm still not gonna win. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I can put that. Someone got my feet up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna start, start in, in threes. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn into a different level, different so player, god. bro. I'm still gonna lose. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be the Hulk. I mean, it's angry as Hulk. It's not gonna matter. Oh man. <laughs> I stand by what I said. <laughs> we shall see. Show. Yeah, yeah, you can say they're angry. <laughs> I'm gonna start using they're, gonna the they're, they're angry, so they're gonna win. They're they're gonna gonna win. Gonna come out they, here, man. They, they lost their equipment. They, they don't need it anyways. <laughs> they weren't using it. But he, he go for five touchdowns today. Oh man! Do you want me to give you Justin Fields stat line? No. Go ahead. No, 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 no. What's Justin Fields stat line? I'm gonna tell you Justin Fields stat line against the Chiefs. Against the Chiefs. This is just gonna end up in a TikTok. I'm gonna tell you Justin Fields. Justin Fields is going to drop 307 yards. Oh, that's insane. He's <laughs> never passed two, for 300 yards in his career. Two, well, this is going to be the first time. Two rushing. <laughs> he's going to have one rushing touchdown and two passing touchdowns. Right. Called it. Man. You guys spin the wheel one, for that? One interception. Spin the wheel. Listen, listen, you're fast with the wheel, bro. It's entertainment. <laughs> but why don't you and the wheel go in the closet and spin each other all night long? That's how, that's how important the wheel is to you. That's crazy. I'm trying to do some punishments over here. Seven minutes of heaven with the wheel. <laughs> what did you like to know? Gabe, Gabe gives like like ESPN first take type takes. Like. But I'm right. It just I didn't get I didn't get the last we week one right. But this is gonna toes on these yeah. so that we get more. Uh, we're gonna tell you all the ones comments. that we got right. Whoever, Dude, uh, whoever. If you watch the full episodes, we're trolling. But if you don't, yeah. comment something mean. We're gonna have uh, everybody's name. Then we'll have Isaac and the DNP for Isaac's <laughs> <laughs> management. Guys, here's, DNP. Here are the only controversial ones I've done today: the Jets and the Bears, and not even that bad. Let me see it. Uh, right, we didn't. No one agreed with your Titans one. Okay, but that's fine. Nobody agreed uh, with the Jets. But that's not terrible. No one agreed with the Bears. Okay. All right. Who's next? Yeah. Uh, let's you know what I'm see. saying? Steelers at Raiders. Raiders are actually one. two and a half point home favorites. I got the Steelers. I'm never picking Jimmy G to win anything in his life. 
Wow. I guess he has the highest winning percentage. They already won a game. NFL. They beat yeah. the Broncos. Yeah, and the they most chips. He has the most Bills. chips in the NFL. Well, of course, That's they lost great. to the Bills. Dude, he's tied with Patrick Coming Mahomes. off a bad L, they should have yeah? won that game. As great. They did. He stinks. <laughs> I think uh, I think the Steelers will have an offensive bounce back. I think the defense is really good that they could, uh, you know, stop. I mean, the Raiders' offense is good and the defense stinks. Yeah. So I feel like um, they'll do a good job of, of holding their offense to, like, not a crazy game. And I feel like um, they're, hopefully their offense can – <laughs> gain something from Dude, this, you know, like do something this week. Pat have like five yards in the season. Well, he has one catch. catch, one catch for yeah, five yeah, yards. Yeah, I had right? him that dude. Like I played him that week too. <laughs> he's thank God. Him, bro. He's yeah, that offense. He, yeah, I dropped him right season. after that yeah, week. That's not, why I picked yeah. up Ertz. But um, the thing is though, with the Steelers, we we're talking about Najee earlier. The Raiders have one of the worst run defenses in the league, at least statistically. I'm not sure if that yeah, is actually same how with it the, is. the Pittsburgh but too. Apparently. If Najee doesn't get it done this week, you might as well just yeah, he's he's definitely because the Raiders got one of the worst run defenses. They should. I mean, I think the Steelers will probably win this game, so they should be playing um, with the lead. So if Najee can't do anything this week, yes, it's gonna be. I Funny mean, thing is that the ugly. Steelers like, defense not already. Steelers defense is making more points than the offenses. Probably will. Yeah, okay. it happened last week. They got yeah. a fix. Yeah. They have pick more six points. Or I think it's like six sixteen points or, or yeah. fourteen points. That's how you. That's how you won last week. Yeah. The Steelers <laughs> defense. <laughs> Funny. I don't know how you lose to a man tanking, but allegedly, <laughs> allegedly <Yeah>. tanking. <laughs> would you? Would you? Uh, because I'd I, I be, like, debating starting Najee, like, or, like, at least playing him, because fucking the Raiders, like, their defense is so bad. Yeah. And I'm I, playing Hollywood instead, but, like... The only I'm reason like, I guess play Najee... Cowboys, is, no, no, you got to start like, Najee. Yeah. I mean, this I feel like his, my, my... If you're not going to start Najee this week, you, you're never going to start yeah. him this year. My I, dynasty I, week is, like, right He's now, a goal line threat, pretty, for sure. So, like, yeah. if you think the offense is going to be good, then you should definitely play him. That's true. Is this because, like... If First, like my line, my, my team right now is already like kind of kind of free rolling, so like <laughs> like just off my two players that played. Yeah, I mean, like, so I feel like I can if, take the risk, but yeah, I think if this is the Steelers' year, like week to get the offense going, if they don't, yeah, then... especially the run game. So. Yeah, yeah, so. I feel you. And the end is like going into like the uh, like the playing against the, the Cowboys, like the Cardinals. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I know Ertz will always get his targets, but who knows if what's his name will get like last week he played. I mean, well, Dobbs but... Dobbs is not anything good, so it's like he could yeah. just be super bad and then it yeah. could be ugly. Michael Brown Parsons will get his targets will too. Fuck him up. Yeah, like he's yeah. he's the uh wide receiver one too. Like the 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 no, Cowboys no. defense uh, is gonna have another probably. crazy week, I think. They're gonna go on for I another so. And I do have the defense. So maybe cool. I should maybe I should bet Cowboys on the Cowboys. Defense? Yeah. They're yeah. gonna have crazy week. I mean they they were doing stuff to the Jets and who they play last week. Uh no, the Jets and who they play week one? Oh, oh Giants. Oh, Giants. Yeah, yeah, they blew them out. So I mean, yeah, yeah. Sure. Giants are better than the kick Cardinals. So. Yeah, this probably this this really is Najee's last chance. I might just drop him. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, you can definitely trade him for but, something. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I've asked a couple people. It's like no, like people see what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, he <laughs> you always know, like, on him, We could all see. There's not <laughs> we much room. See. There's not we much room. Yeah, this is his week. Weeks, though, man. You could ship him off yeah, after this weeks. week. Yeah, you should have a good week. And it's got to have him in dynasty. Like you know, who knows? Yeah. It's a long season. Um, all right. We got all got the Steelers, right? Or Gabe, who do you got? I got the Steelers got as well. Steelers. I like Kenny Pickett, George Pickens. Even though Raiders no, are Kenny favorites, they could sucks. win the game. Mm, I don't think so. Kobe's coming backs. back from a concussion, and Devontae's kind of hurt. Yeah. yeah. No, he's back. He's a cleared. Yeah, but is he 100? percent Is the question. No, Josh Jacobs he's looks, been he's looking bad or terrible. Oh yeah, he has. Oh, he, he had a concussion. Devontae, I thought it was like an injury. No, it was a concussion. Oh, okay. It was a, it was the same hit, I think, or uh, not the same hit, but like a hit hard in hit. the end zone. Mm. Uh, who did it? On, and it wasn't on the Broncos, but it was a hard hit. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, Jacobs though, he's been bad, but I think he'll start get start to get it going. I think it's him now being at training camp, oh, not having fresh sorry. legs. So to die. Oh, to die. Yeah. I mean, we got yeah, two, two more, more games, right, but I can. Eagles, Buccaneers, Philly, two and a half. I mean, five and five point road favorites. Eagles. I'm going Eagles here. Yeah, Eagles, Eagles as well. And I hope Mike gets a tutty though. This game will be good depending on if Joe, Joe Burrow plays. Yeah, Rams at Bengals. Cincinnati three point home favorites. Rams have looked better than people expect. Cincy not so much. We expecting bounce back. Mm-hmm. Rams home, or, right? Yeah. No, no, Rams. No, uh, uh, I'm expecting Cincinnati. a bounce back. I, if this... Joe Burrow doesn't play, Rams are crushing them. If, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if he does play. I mean, I it's don't know a toss how healthy up. he is, but I'm going to go Bengals if he's healthy. Yeah, yeah I, I do like as if well. he plays, he'll have a bounce back. They a can't go 0-3, especially in their division. Game. 
Yeah, they're, they'll they be can't first. afford it, bro. No. I mean, they've they've they went zero and two last the other years. We all think the Ravens are going through and zero too, so you're yeah. not going to win the and division. And it's like Browns are going to win this week too, so yeah. You have to win. Steelers this might too. Like yeah, yeah, this is like a must win. Like the, the, the for third week in the league is a must win game. Like like are you in must win territory already? Like come on. So you think they're going to answer the call or no? I mean, I said this back to back. I'm going to have to stick with it. Yes, I think the Bengals are going to rise to the occasion. Okay, yeah, I think it, I, I agree. If Joe Burrow plays, I got the Bengals. I don't think you will. Is his he calf is hurt? Is it his calf? I think the Rams are playing. They're like, the Rams, what are they firing on? They're competent. Cylinders? The Rams yeah, are I locked in, bro. They even got a really good look. Kyron Williams. could do it, too. Yeah. Kyron Williams is playing, playing great. What that Pacuna do? Pacuna is going crazy. Pacuna is going crazy. Pacuna is going crazy. Kyron Williams is one of the best. Pacuna dude. Kyron looks Pacuna Matata is legs. They traded Cam Akers. They said, we don't even need a run. Yeah. Bro, one game in, he got his job to. They actually have two rookies. That was crazy. Pacuna Matata. Who's the other dude? They have another dude that they drafted. Zach Evans. I think so, yeah. But he does not even active. Like, they just literally activate Kyron Williams. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I'm just saying, they'll Kyron be okay without Cam. Let's That's see, sure. bro. Okay. Hopefully, I, I just hope Joe is like a good game, window So Cooper Cup can come back and actually play. All right, well. I think that's, that's it, it for right? today's episode. Cam's episode about today. to die, but yeah, for we talked about a lot. An hour and 30 minutes about. So yeah, we started yeah, yeah. early. But picks. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Let us know your picks. If you see this uh, ahead of time, if you don't, let us know how we did. Tally it up for us in the comment section down below. We'll yes. appreciate it. So um, bring a whiteboard next time to tally up all our yeah. wins. So. And, so I'll um, start off with like a 12-game head start because I got them all <laughs> right, though. There you go. Yeah, well, yeah, we should count them out. Yeah. Uh, I was going to do that before this episode, but I just forgot. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next episode of BDL Podcast. Yes, I see you. <laughs>